Okay. All right, there we go. Now we are live. Second. Now let me just go here, copy this link. Oh. There we go, done, save. All right, there we go. Now it should be all good. Oh, why is the, hmm, I need to change the picture real quick. Oops. Uh, change this picture. Change that to, where's that picture at? There it is. There we go, save. All right, there we go. Some bit of diff uh, technical difficulties there. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, the picture changed, right? Yeah, because it's just loading. All right. Share, copy link. All right, and starting. That's Maniaki with three years. Okay. Well, not sure if there's anyone else in the stream at the moment, but. If there is, welcome. Um, just making sure the stream's all good. The connection, yada yada yada. All right. Ooh. Oh, hey, Vakion. <laughs> How you doing, man? Uh. All right. It's all good. Oh, we got four now. All right. There we go. Uh oh, one second. Hey there, welcome to the stream. <laughs> just letting it uh just letting some more people join in soon and then we'll uh yeah and we'll start up the revolution. <laughs> uh private. Hey there, Pedro. <laughs> Alrighty, we're uh Slowly climbing. <laughs> uh, uh, the first one will. All right. Alrighty. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah. Today I'm 18. <laughs> I am no longer a uh, no longer a child, but the inner child that is in my mentality will probably live on forever. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, and yeah, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Alrighty, so... I don't know, I think this is not too bad. I'll probably grow for the... View count will probably get bigger as we progress, but... I suppose this is a good... Good starting point. Yeah, everyone's in the stream, welcome. Welcome, Paul, Pedro, Project Yannick, uh, Vakion. Thank you all, welcome to the stream. And then this is my, uh, yeah, this is my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I'm no longer, no longer a, uh, no longer a wee little lad. <laughs> and yeah, I figured that since everyone's been kind of wanting to, you know, do the, uh, or waiting for the next season to start, I figured why not do another, uh, live stream to sort of kick off the next season since, you know, it's supposed to be kind of fitting since I did that last year with my, uh, with my, you know, um, my Altus Antistasi one, which I believe that was last year, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Man, it feels like so, so long ago, but also so recent. 
All right, one second. Let me just do some final things real quick. Is that picture correct? Huh, why is it defaulting to that other picture that I had? Huh, that was weird. Oh well. Um, all right, it's all good. Never lose the inner child, it's the flame of for revolutions. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> all right. Well, I think um I think it's time we start this series finally. So for everyone that's watching currently right now, we are on the island, or I guess islands of Sahrani, since there's I mean there's more than one, but we're on the nation of Sahrani. We are uh is it a nation? No, it's not a nation, because it's like two different governments. Never mind. We're on the we're on the Sakrani map. <laughs> and we're going to be fighting against the Sakrani Liberation. Wait a minute. That That's not right. <laughs> there's two there's two Royal Army Corps of Sakrani uh factions. That's That's not right. Hold on. Before <laughs> I've already messed up something. We haven't even gotten into the actual game just yet. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just go back and change that. I must have accidentally placed two uh, real army cores together. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, it's a good week with no school. Basically a free week without school. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, oops. I think I accidentally... <laughs> I accidentally placed two of the same faction... What there should be is the Democratic Sakrani Liberation Army in the north, and then the Royal Army Corps of Sakrani in the south. But I must have accidentally clicked on um, the Royal Army Corps to appear on both of the both the invading and the occupying factions. So, yeah, let me just go ahead and change that real quick. Oops. <laughs> I hope hope everyone's doing okay. Yeah, just uh, just got done playing a little bit of Arma earlier, so yeah, I think I'm I think I'm all ready to uh, cause some more anarchy. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully the stream gets a bit more popular. Yeah, to everyone that's in the stream currently right now, welcome. Um, I'm just currently fixing a an oopsie that I did on this here. Load, faction. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the problem. Hold on. Uh, Sakrani Liberation Army. There we go. So now these should be the occupiers. These should be the invaders. Uh, Italian, arid, FIA. Okay. I think that's good. Oops. <laughs> he's been. He hasn't talked for a while. Um, he's doing all right. He got a well. He got a little sick earlier. Uh, like in this week, but he's a little uh. He's a little better now, but he's currently just uh, doing his own thing. But he's doing all right, though. This was awesome, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> I thought it was it wasn't too bad. I mean, I probably could have done a bit better. I suppose there's like some things I probably could have changed, to make it just a, you know, just a bit more dramatic or like epic. But altogether, I mean, it's wasn't it wasn't too bad. I mean, I did leave out a few clips that I recorded of like different battles and and like other scenes that I didn't uh, include. Um, but, I mean, I, it's not too shabby, I suppose. That's, like, one of the main things I like doing. Um, like, uh, just, the like, YouTube videos I like making in general is just those, like, cinematic videos. I don't know what it is about it exactly, but something about just making, like, just a dramatic sequence of, like, scenes and, like, gunfights or, like, tank battles with, like, just music playing in the background is just... It's just one of my favorite things to, like think of and like imagine like because i always like listen to music and i always think like hmm, this would be pretty good for like this scenario or like you know this certain like cinematic stuff or like cinematic video but yeah i'm just kind of i kind of like making those because it kind of brings out just like my ideas and like how well like the music can mix with what's going on in the game but yeah i hope this uh I hope this series will be very entertaining for y'all because I haven't actually played with these uh, these mod lists we're playing with right now, which is the uh, the Sakrani, you know, uh, Liberation Army, and then the Royal Army Corps. I've never really played with them a whole lot. I've played with them a little bit, 
but not to the point where like um not to the point where it's like halfway or even like a quarter of the way through so to this is going to be a very i think interesting experience mostly because both of these factions are going to be using quite a plethora of different uh units vehicles weapons uh strategies probably and uh <laughs> yeah the last time i made a uh a anti-stasi um video was oh it feels like a feels like a year ago Hold on, let me check real quick orange towns what oh yeah so if anyone's wondering why the colors are different on my uh like on my screen because you know the invaders are now like a cyan like a light blue and the uh occupiers are like orange what i did was i basically just went into my uh i think it's my video settings is it game game settings no, not layout. Colors. So what I did is I changed everything to, uh, like, colors that sort of fit the factions. So the Serrano Liberation Army are going to be orange, since that's, like, one of their main colors in their flag. And then the, the Royal Army Corps are going to be cyan, since that's kind of, like, their, uh, again, like, their main color in their flag. So I thought it'd just be kind of cool to add, like, a little bit of, uh, like, realism or, like, you know, just little little details like that. Just... You know, just because why not? <laughs> so yeah, if anyone's wondering why the map looks a bit different, that's uh, that's why. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, when was the last time I made an anti-Stasi related video, or I guess just a playthrough? Because I made the um, I made those tutorials and stuff, which I kind of want to make one of those again because a lot of people seems to like them and uh, they're pretty pretty fun to make. God, yeah. The last time I made an anti stasi like episode was almost a year ago. God. Um. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't really like returned to like making these until now, but I hope this live stream makes up for it. <laughs> I'm hoping to live stream for at least a couple hours, at least, because I definitely want to try to include as much time as I can since, you know. Haven't made a video about anti-stasi for over a year, or almost a year. Um, but yeah, this is going to be way different than what we've played with before. Since uh, I'm playing on not only a new, like, uh, I guess, version of anti-stasi. Because what I played on before was anti-stasi plus. But as you can see right here in the top left corner, we're playing on anti-stasi ultimate. Which is my favorite one that... Uh, has come out so far so basically i guess while we're loading into uh arma basically like the short little rundown on what is different now is a metaphorical butt ton <laughs> there's everything from new factions such as you know the serrani Ar the serrani royal army the uh serrani liberation army there's uh, new mod sets that are supported. So you can literally do like Star Wars or Clone Wars anti-Stasi. Uh, you can do an anti-Stasi that has like zombies or like mutants. You can like recreate Stalker. Um, you can, yeah, you can recreate Stalker now. Like there is a lot that you can, um, you can do. Syntakistan are my favorite maps in anti-Stasi. I can definitely understand that. Like one of my favorite, I don't know what it is. One of my favorite places to do anti-Stasi on are just island maps like this where there's like different islands like you know there's uh different islands that are occupied uh that aren't a part of the main island i think simply because it uh it, you have to utilize boats or like helicopters more and i guess speaking of transportation one of the other challenges i want to do in this anti-stasi is i want to try to not use fast traveling which i have actually played with it before but it actually is kind of nice because you have to utilize transportation a bit more. Um, helicopters or even like transport aircraft come into come into play a bit more. So oh, let me move Petros in here real quick. Yeah, I want to try to just try to use fast travel. Um, at least not at all or, you know, at the very least, like not as much. <laughs> um... So yeah, we're going to be starting Anti-Stasi right here in the mountains of Northern Sakhrani. Um, so as you guys seen in the cinematic, if you made it, happy birthday, Gooby Super. <laughs> Thanks, Red. 
<laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to be starting up in the northern part, and yeah, for the people who've seen my cinema uh, cinematic, cinematic, um, basically what the lore is, is that, um, the Island of Serrani, which was a map featured in the original Arma, uh, Armed Assault, I believe, um, so in the whole storyline, um, basically what happened was I think the United States, uh, forces were occupying the southern island and, or southern peninsula, rather, and they were supplying the, uh, the Royal Army Corps with, like, weapons and training and gear, um, but apparently one of the, during the last days of the occupation by the U.S. forces, the northern army, the SLA forces, invaded and... A short conflict ensued, but eventually the United States and the Royal Army Corps came out on top. But we're kind of doing a bit of an alternate history sort of thing. So instead of the Serrani forces attacking when there was hardly any U.S. soldiers here, they attacked when the entire uh, U.S. force withdrew from the islands. And what, another thing they did was that they somehow, we, we don't know, know exactly... They somehow cut communications from the entire island so that the Sokrani government cannot call the United States forces to send uh, reinforcements back to the islands to help them out. So quite frankly, they are on their own. And um, they have barely anything left. Uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. They have only one airbase, about half a dozen small installations. Uh, they've been beat down to very very little pockets of resistance however they're with they're gonna plan a large counterattack very soon to try to retake their peninsula and perhaps even invade the northern part of the island so that's kind of like the lore that i've made up for this <laughs> for this anti-stasi but we're gonna be starting up in the north so we're gonna be facing off against the sokrani liberation army for the majority of our anti-stasi until we encounter the royal army corps um, so I guess, uh, I guess let's get this thing started, shall we? Um, so taking a look at, taking a look at the map of the, uh, the area, we actually, I forgot, there is one mod that I loaded in here, if I go to audio, I added a small mod, some of you might know what the mod is, but I added a mod called Adaptive Music, now, I want y'all to uh, give your results or your, uh, opinions in chat if you guys want this on or not. So basically what this mod will do is that it's going to play music, um, uh, like, generated music throughout the entire game, and it'll change depending on what situation you're in. So if I'm, like, just walking around in a forest, it'll be, like, you know, just normal, like, music, like, calm, sort of, like, eerie music. But if I'm, like, in a gunfight, it's going to be, like, epic music. It'll change if you're, like, in a helicopter or in a tank or driving in a car, on a boat, swimming, going uh, or walking through fog. Um, oh, hey there, Nuke. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, we're starting to get a bunch of, uh, bunch of people in here. O over a dozen. That's a, that's a milestone for me. <laughs> um, oh, speaking of people, I completely forgot to say, um, thank you for... Uh, Thank you for getting me over 1,000 subscribers. Um, I know that may not sound like much, but to me, that is like, I wouldn't say the world, but that's like a massive uh, deal to me. Like, that is huge. Um, actually, I'll say bad story about it meaning the world. It means, it means a whole lot to me. So being able to actually get over 1,000 subs, just almost entirely doing this, um, besides from other crappy videos that I made over a year ago. Um, I honestly want to thank each and every one of you that is listening right now. Thank you for subscribing and sub supporting me. And if you haven't subbed already, I would highly recommend it. Because um, I'm going to be making a whole lot of these videos. And all this, some probably some other uh, videos like this in the future. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's uh, joined in. Oh, wait. Is that thing not working? Oh, hold on. I think my OBS is not working. There's a little viewer count in the bottom right. I don't think that's working right. Uh-oh. Let me check this out real quick. Is that not working? Uh-oh. Viewer count. Huh. That sucks. There should be a chat display here, too. 
Ah, uh, I guess then again, I haven't really messed with OBS in a while. That might not be working. Uh. Hmm. What was up? Uh, I remember we played like months ago at ours called Anomaly Plus and then turned, left that player. That player. Played. Phew, can't talk. I left that play that player called Trilogy and I guess when I'm selling, made it a lot in the past hint. More farming mod. God, are you making more alcohol again in Unturned? <laughs> Well, I guess you gotta do whatever you can when you're in a zombie apocalypse. Um, that's weird, though. For some reason, my some of my OBS things aren't working. I'm trying to... Huh? Oh, dang it. That's not, that sucks. Uh, I'll have to try to fix that sometime. I should have, like, a viewer count and, like, an alerts and, like, chat and stuff, but apparently that's not working, so... I'll have to try to update that at a later time, but... Oh, well, I guess I'll, yeah, I guess I'll fix that later. Um, yeah, it's been literally, literally a whole year, so I don't doubt that there's probably something wrong with my OBS or, like, my, uh, my whatchamacallit, uh, my chat alerts and stuff. How did you guess? <laughs> well, to put it simply, you're kind of an, well, I wouldn't say an alcohol addict, but that's kind of the thing you do. <laughs> All right, anyway. So, without further ado, God's stream's already going on for 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I'd say let's start this anti stasi So, yeah, anyway, what I was talking about. So, yeah, I added a mod called Adaptive Music, which will play, you know, uh, dynamic music throughout the, the whole mission uh, that depends on what you're doing in the game. So, I'll turn it on for now. But if you guys don't really want to listen to uh, any music or if you want me to just turn it down, uh, do let me know. But for now, I'm just going to set it a little, little high. Oh, one second. I'm still getting birthday texts. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, but yeah, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit on my, my weird, uh, turn down your volume a tad bit. This could be a bit loud. Uh, three, two, one. I'm gonna set it for right there. So there we go. Yeah, so now you guys actually hear um, music playing in the background. And again, if you guys don't want to listen to it or if it's too loud, then just let me know. But I'm gonna try to keep it on just because it adds a bit of like in a you know, it just feels, you know, really nice and stuff like that. But let me know if you guys want me to turn it off or lower it, lower it or increase the volume or anything like that. Uh, also, on the server, maybe 120 bottles. I made over 200k, so basically it's the rest for getting good currency on that server. <laughs> well, it turns out that a lot of people like alcohol. So, there's no wonder that the alcohol business is uh, big, even in video games or even on Unturned. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyway... Uh, let's get this party started. Oh, the tanks, the tank DLC soundtrack. Definitely one of, that's like one of my favorite DLC soundtracks. All right, anyway, so the general area where we are, actually, wait, let me, I'm gonna turn that down just a tad bit. It's a good song though. All right, so uh, the general area where we are right now, we are currently Kind of boxed in between two Sahrani uh, Liberation Army resource bases. So those might be a pretty decent target to go after off the bat because, for one, they're not very well um, defended. And second of all, they could give us a decent amount of cash to start off with and some, place, some like good solid foothold to uh, spread our influence. Um, we do need to watch out because there are three Sukrani uh, Liberation Army outposts next to us. And this one probably being the most dangerous one, simply because it has its own island. Only way you can get on there is through this single bridge, which is heavily guarded. Um, so this is going to be one of our end game. We're well, not end game, but one of our later objectives is attacking this place. Uh, problem is, it needs a lot of water bottles and they aren't easy to get. Good way is to fish for them. God, I mean, I should play Unturned again. It's been a while since I've played that, especially going like a public server. 
Um, so yeah, anyway, I think we're going to try to attack one of either one of these resource bases uh, starting off. Uh, probably this one, since this one is... Whoa, what did I just say there? Since this one seems to be less defended, and this one has an entire compound, so... I don't know, we may need to attack that at a later point, but for now, I think we're going to go try to attack this resource base. So, let's go ahead and start this up. Um, so, yeah, everything in this anti-stasi is, like, new, basically. Like, it's new, or it's changed, or it's just, uh, like, everything in this game has basically been changed now. Like, there's, yeah, new factions, new vehicles, all sorts of stuff. So, let me get, uh, just a pickup truck to start us off. And we're also going to bring along... Oop, wrong button. We're going to bring along a loot crate, since these things are very good. Oh, yeah, you can also buy, um... These things right here. Can we have your mods list? Oh, yeah. I, uh, I haven't made one just yet, but uh, after this, you know, stream is over, I will uh, make a mod list for everything that I'm using so that you guys can actually, you know, have the same experience as me. And also just in case I do one of these live streams in the future and uh, it's going to be like a public one. So, uh, yeah, and by the way, this is not this is not a public... Um, What is that? Do I hear what I think I'm hearing? Oh! <gasps> oh, God! Okay! The SLA are... Um... Oh, my God! Oh! Okay! There was a freaking hind that just landed over there! Alright, I'm gonna go run and hide. <laughs> oh, I know what they're doing. They're dropping off guys at that outpost right now. Yeah, it's an MI-24. Yeah, it's already off to a pretty dramatic start. There's already a freaking gunship dropping off soldiers at there at that outpost over there. Yeah, I don't want to mess with those gunships. Um, I love those things, but I don't like going against them. Uh oh, spaghetti! <laughs> Next at headquarters. Yeah, that's not a good sign either. I told they haven't spotted us and are sending a team out to us, but it seems we've landed next to the resource base, so they're probably heading over there instead. I have been into Plus, but I've heard a lot of good things about Intercise Plus, so I'll probably check it out. Game over. Uh, yes, I would highly recommend uh, Intercise Ultimate. I do love Intercise Plus with all my heart. However, oh, there goes the hind. God, where's he going actually? Ah, looks like he came from either up here in the mountains, or he's heading off to this, uh, this main stronghold on their own island. Island of Antigua? Antigua? I don't know, I think, it, I think it's Spanish, so I'm probably gonna have a real, uh, tough time pronouncing it. But, yeah, um, god, that was one way to, uh, announce the SLA's presence in the area. They automatically called in a gunship to drop off enemy reinforcements. Uh, certain playing as PVE, a lot of mods, unboxing crates for crates, loot, really nice happens in the owner community, all sorts of slot machines and coin flip game currency. Okay, that I, w I would definitely want to try Unturned again. It's been a while since I've played that. Um, oh yeah, the Apex music. Yeah, uh, again, if you guys are, um, if you guys don't want to listen to any of the music, uh, while we're playing, just let me know, or if it's too loud, then I'll lower it. Just, uh, so let me know if you guys want it or not, then, uh, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. So, yeah. So, do you, you must acquire the Tactical Suburban! I know, Red, I'll get a Chevy Suburb whenever I can. I promise you. I'm just gonna go looking through towns and find one first. <laughs> Alright. So... I guess let's go do this. So, we're gonna bring a small fire team along, or a small team along with us. Just a few guys with Garands and, uh... Yeah, Medic and Engineer to come along with, with us. And I think we're going to go try to capture that resource base. But now we're going to try to proceed with caution since uh, they got reinforcements via via MI-24 gunship. So, yeah, we're going to try to move in there, capture it, hold it against any QRF, and get anything we can and get out. Because we definitely need to get some better weapons than Garands and Grease Guns and Springfield 1903s. Uh... 
That's actually pretty nice music playing right now. <laughs> I didn't know this was part of the Arma soundtrack. Is this from the Jets DLC? I think it's from the Jets DLC. That's what it's from. Pretty sure. Viva la resistance. Agreed. All right. So. Oh yeah, no, this is this is the Jet soundtrack. Yeah, I think this is one of the. Uh, yeah, some of the songs from the Jet DLC. All right. So let's head to. Whoop! <laughs> the one time I looked over my shoulder, almost went right off a cliff. <laughs> Well, that's my driving in a nutshell. All right. So the outpost or the resource base is going to be just off to our right. Uh, okay, let's get our guys on combat mode. All right. So I personally would bring more soldiers if I can for attacking a resource, but you got this. <laughs> Funky song. Yeah, it's honestly, it's honestly not too shabby. Conceal carry javelin. Man, if we could get javelins, that would be amazing. <laughs> Alright. But um Arma soundtracks are great. Yeah, the Arma Arma 3, um, the Arma 3 soundtrack is arguably one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard. It's one of the most underrated, too. Alright, let's get everyone to disembark. But yeah, um, so uh, for Nuke, yeah, I mean, five soldiers attacking a resource base isn't much. However, usually these places aren't too well defended, so shouldn't be too bad. 80s armor song. This would be good for like a like a Cold War scenario. I'll keep that in mind if I do a Cold War anti-Stazzy. Retro feature. Yeah, it honestly has got a bit of a retro feel to it. Oh, now it's gonna now it's gonna turn to combat music pretty soon, cause we're about to gauge these SLA forces down here. Oh! Uh, we got one guy up there in the tower. Gee. Oh, never mind. I was not tell him to hold fire, but never mind. All right. Let's move in and take this guy out, or take this resource base out. Yo, can't believe I caught your stream. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream. Oh, man, they dropped him. Hold on. Everyone that's open to this... Oh, whoa. Everyone that's in the stream, welcome to the stream. God, I'm going to have a stroke. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We're, uh... We're kicking off the, the anti-stasi with a uh, resource base attack. I'm gonna watch fire on civilians. Whoa! Oh, we're taking fire from somewhere. Can't really see him too well. Uh. Oh, there he is. I looked at it, the stream for one second. All right, he's down. Oh, I got him right in the leg. But yeah, I will. Uh, after this anti-stasi. Whoa! I will definitely make a, uh, a mod list of everything that I'm using, so that you guys have the uh, yeah same things that I'm using. Um, oh, I see you up there. Or is he already dead? I think he's already dead. Also, this music is actually not too bad. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Jesus, that's close. Can't really see much. They're kind of just doing suppressing fire, I think. Uh, I think we got one man down already. Or he's, he's not down, but he's... Or not dead, but he's down, yeah. Do all this series, you have no idea. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And I'm sure that it's probably going to be... Uh, I would say probably even better than the last season. I mean, after all the updates and stuff, I'm sure it's going to be a bit more... Oh, crap, they're pretty close. Oh, I got him! Alright, nailed him right in the head. So yeah, we're playing with all sorts of mods uh, on this... Oh, the Grand Ping. On this uh, series, we're using uh, like sound effect mods, uh, a bunch of realism mods, like uh, animated recoil coefficient changer, all sorts of stuff. Actually, let me grab this engineer. Do I have a smoke grenade? Dang it, I don't. Okay. So we can just drag them back real quick. All right, there Enemies have taken a bit a bit of casualties. We haven't just yet, but there is one guy that's been down. Whoa, that guy sounds pretty close. Crap on. Throwing a frag. Oh, I just heard I heard uh Oh, I just heard fleshy sounds. I think one of our guys just popped that guy. Uh, uh sounds a bit loud at my 
in my opinion. Hard to hear in-game voices and enemy fire, but maybe it's just me. Yeah, I may turn it down a bit. Um, just let me know. Yeah, let me know if any uh, sound is like out of a uh, out of proportion or if my voice is too quiet or anything. So, just to provide a you know optimal uh, experience for you guys. All right, this guy's pretty close to us. What'd you have on you? AK-74. Yeah, you know I'm grabbing that. We had an RPG-26. Where's that at? P. Makarov. Where's your RPG? I want that. There it is. Yoink. Oh, the music? Okay. Well, uh... I guess I might turn it down just a... Just a... Just a wee bit. There you go. That should be enough. I'm going three mags for this thing. So these guys aren't really too well equipped. They don't have a really... Really good weapons, but... And they're kind of a threat to us at the start. Alright, let's move up to the sandbags. Alright, so yeah, now here's like some of the combat music kicking in. Oh, and it stopped. <laughs> Probably because it like, because uh, it detects if there's like gunfire going on or not, so it'll change depending on, you know, what's going on. Alright, let's move in. Anybody in there? I think there is. Alright, looks clear. Alright, let's bring everybody in. Uh, Nicolo, go get our truck. I'm actually kind of surprised there's nobody over here. Like, there's a lot of people that came from that hind, I'm sure, because I even I even saw them through the windows in the, of the back of that hind. There was a lot of them here. I guess they must have fled, or maybe they went somewhere else. Hope they didn't go for our, he our headquarters. <laughs> now, I want to be kind of careful here. Don't see anybody down there. Oh, it looks like we're mostly in the clear. Opt for when the FIA deploys Nightmare Fred. <laughs> Oh, God. Imagine that's actually, like, I hope that someone makes a mod for that, where it's just a, uh, it's like a, it's just a thing you can hook up to a helicopter, and it's literally just Freddy Fazbear, so you just hook up to a helicopter, drop it, and it's just, like, I don't know exactly how it would work, but you just drop it on the ground, maybe it just, like, explodes, and, like, it's just, like, a massive shockwave or something. I don't know, but, I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. I'm just clear out this tower real quick. Let's vault over this guy that's lying on the ground. Oh, hello, buddy. All right, there you go. My right, tower's clear. This guy's dead. But you are still alive. Do you remember when watching your series when I had the flu? I watched the entire series in about three days. Oh, dangle this guy blood out. <laughs> oh, when I took this resources, they were bugging around on the slope in the northwest. Okay, well, we'll be sure to secure the area and... Uh, make sure that they're not anywhere here. Uh, let me tell the truck to get over here. Hopefully he moves. Alright, we'll definitely be on the lookout. Huh, why is he not moving? Alright, well, let me just take control of this guy since he's not really being too uh, compliant. <laughs> Real. All right, well, let's just drive this truck into the outpost. All right, put her there. All right. Uh, not seeing a lot of people here, which is kind of surprising. I expected a bit more resistance, apart from just, like, a small team of soldiers. Bro, I'm on the armor workshop right now. One of the top mods right now is called Dirty Explosive Suck. I've seen that. It's literally just like a, um, it's literally just a sticky bomb. It's literally just a sticky bomb that's a sock. I don't know, who, um, <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever really use that, but still, that's, <laughs> that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the, the armor workshop never ceases to amaze me. It's full of, filled with some of the best and some of the weirdest mods I have ever seen in my life. Pretty fast, we are for the freedom of all discomfort. 
Um. Huh. I don't see anybody else here. Well, I guess let's just capture the place and hold a uh, hold it for a counter attack. Ooh, these guys got B thirteen mounts. Ooh, cool. All right, these guys have uh, B thirteen mounts on their uh, AKs. That's cool. All right, we got a squad leader here. Let's search him for some intel real quick. All right. Uh, a sock is indeed an interesting choice of weapon. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have to go. Alrighty, well, uh, take care, Vakion. Thank you for tuning into the stream, and, uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. Alright. Ah. Alright. So hopefully we get some good intel from this guy. What the armor second? 224 minutes. Dang, okay. They're a bit laid back today, it seems. <laughs> um, so we got one, two, three, four. Um... I don't know, about like eight soldiers KIA, I believe. Talk to you someday, maybe tomorrow. Alrighty, well, uh, take care, man. See you later. Oh, let's tell these guys to actually just stay put here. Alright. Let's, uh, capture this place, hold in case of a QRF, and I guess we'll see what happens next. Uh, I mean, there's, there's like literally three outpost next to us, not to mention an airbase here, airbase there, over here, so it's most, we're most likely going to be uh, expecting a QRF of some sort. Maybe. Depends if they're in the mood or not. <laughs> I don't guess I'll just do this real quick. We're going to tuning in from New Zealand! <laughs> um, oh yeah, RPG-18. 6, AK, 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 Spender Equipment, SLA, SSH-68. Wait, do these have the camouflage on it? Uh, okay, they don't have any markings. Um, I think I'm okay, though. Um, AK, AK, AKs. I'm the same time as a soldier. Like, actually, yeah, what's the time zone difference between, uh, like, New Zealand and, uh, in, the, in, like, East Coast, yeah. Um, backpacks, backpacks, backpacks. Well, I don't think there's going to be a QRF. Oh, but then again, they might change their mind a bit later. I'll just have the hold here for now. I'm just going to make sure we got everything from these dead soldiers. Uh, also, Soldier, we should do a game where we should just speed run the whole game. Oh my god, we actually should do that. We should do an anti stazzy speed run. But, oh my god, I don't even think that would. That would probably at la like last at least a day. Because, I mean, unless we do Malden, like the smaller map, um, I think an, a speed run on Malden might actually be possible. <laughs> that is that is completely possible. Is. <laughs> Is there actually any speedrun tactics for anti stasi <laughs> I'm sure some I'm sure there's probably someone who has tried doing that in the past though. Um yeah, AK74. Yeah, they have AK74Ms with B13 rail mounts. That's pretty dang good. Um uh, for anyone who doesn't know what that means, this uh this certain AK has a rail mount on the top of it. So you can actually put a uh like a holographic holographic optic <laughs> on the top of it. So that's actually pretty rare to come across. And these are like regular militia or like conscripts. Oops, it's raining a little bit. So that's kind of surprising though. Just kept as many locations as you can before there's a counterattack. I suppose so. Um Alright, well it doesn't look like there's really gonna be any other like counterattack here, so I guess we'll just put some soldiers here on the resource base. And I guess we'll just head back home. Alright. Um I don't want to put too many soldiers on here in case we might lose them, but. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, might as well uh head back to base. Me too, I need to go. Because these are fronts. For this is for France, kids from France. Watch replay on YouTube. Alrighty, well, uh, I guess I'll catch you later. Uh, almost had the whole world 
How about almost had the world record for getting Petros killed? <laughs> yeah, that just that seeing that hind really like completely threw me off. Like I did not expect to see an MI24 like with with not even within like five minutes of like just walking around in the game. <laughs> But then again, that's anti stazzy and almost anything can happen. I'll have a speedrun strat. Tell, tell the US there's oil on the island and let them do the work. Well, um... I have something to tell you. There are oil fields on Sahrani. So there's a chance the US may return and just... Wipe off, wipe everyone off the island. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, I guess we'll just head back to base and I guess put this loot away and yeah, I guess we'll just consider what we're going to do next. All right, well, if uh, anyone that's, that's just tuned into the stream, welcome. We're uh, just currently heading back from a small attack on a resource base. Just got some decent uh, infantry weapons. Liberate the island, you mean? <laughs> Yeah, keyword liberate. All right, so we're here. Unload the cargo. Uh, with my stats, it just makes capturing things make a complete difference in battle. And a cure from an airbus actually depletes their garrison, and they have to use their resources. Amazing me. A ten burp incoming. The honestly, like the logic with anti stazzy is uh. It's, it honestly still baffles me just like how like the game works and everything. It's, it's honestly pretty impressive. Um, let's see, I'll put that away real quick. Um, oh, I'm just getting some, getting some text right now. <laughs> uh, it's on right now. Okay. Um, so, just transferred all that. Let's put this in the back in the garage. Um, have to leave too. Have fun, guys. Alrighty, well, uh, take care, man. Glad that you, uh, hopped in and said hi. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I gotta load into the arsenal real quick. Hmm. Okay. So, what do we have starting off? Uh, I guess put this away real quick. Um, take this off. Actually, is this better? Ooh. <laughs> Somehow, the suspenders provide a tad bit of ballistic protection than a, a chest rig. I'm not going to question that, but all right. <laughs> I think I'm going to roll with the Chekom chest rig, though, since it has a bit more storage. And I just love these things. Every dead soldier makes a difference in battle. It's so cool in such a large scale at all the time. Yeah, and you could even tweak it to like how much, uh, how many resources the enemy has, uh, what the chances are of like an enemy attack, uh, if they can use napalm strikes or uh, all sorts of stuff. I love like all this, how, how customizable the mode is. And I hope they definitely make more factions because that would be, you know, just the best if they can add more. Uh, hey, all 40, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Um, so I guess, what should we roll with first? Well, first off, how do these look? Okay, <laughs> definitely not using that. That is just, yeah, just zero, zero line of sight on that thing. Uh, let's put a nice little DTK muzzle break. Um, I guess let's go with seven and six and nine. Which which one's better? Actually, here, can I just go with... Yeah, we'll just go with um, just a small amount of magazines. Bro, I'm one hour late. <laughs> well, better late than never. But yeah, welcome to the stream. And also to anybody else who's tuned in, uh, welcome. We're uh, just currently sitting at base after a small resource attack. And I guess we're just trying to figure out what we're going to do next. Oh yeah, the small town joined our side too. So that's actually really good. Um... I guess we could see if we got any side missions that are available. A convoy ambush. Ooh, an armored convoy. An alpha, uh, a convoy from outpost near Eponia 
It's about to depart at 1319. A reinforced outpost near Montadero with armored vehicles. Trying to accept it. Steal or destroy. So it looks like it's going to be coming from this outpost over here in the town of Eponia. So it's going to be coming along this road. It's going to make a right and hit that. Oh, you know? That actually seems like a target we could probably take advantage of. In that case... Do we have... I'm going to take an M7... Ooh, RPG... Uh, which one should I take? Uh, I'll just use an RPG-26, I guess. Do we have any helmets? Well, we have the SA-68. However... Uh... Hmm. Take a stride, patrol cap. Actually, doesn't look too shabby. But I think, uh, I think we'll just go with no hat for now. Um, do we have anything else we can really use? Oh yeah, do we have any- are these backpacks better? Whoa! Okay, those are really good, actually. Um... So yeah, let me grab... First aid. Um, some frag grenades. I'm actually gonna take a... Smoke grenade. Took a couple, actually. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. That out- that, um... Do we have any explosives? Oh, we have IEDs. Perfect. I'm going to take a few of those. So, here's what we're going to do. That convoy, which, you know, I'll actually go ahead and mark that on the map. Let's do blue four. So, that convoy is going to be traveling... Actually, actually, give me little dotted lines. Or little dots. So, nope. So, this convoy is going to be traveling along this road... And it's going to be passing by this resource base. Um, See, so yeah, I think our best, our best shot at taking out this convoy is most likely going to be at this three-way junction right here. And we'll mark this. Oh, yeah, mark this real quick. And then, yeah, just mark the rest of the way. Just so you guys get a bit of a better idea on what's going on and everything. So then they're going to head up to that outpost up there. So what we're gonna do... Uh, IEDs for real. <laughs> um, yeah, when in doubt, use an IED, especially in a revolution. <laughs> yeah, so we don't, we don't have like any other good anti-tank weaponry besides from some little single-shot rocket launchers, and IEDs are always good to have on hand, so why not use those? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an ambush site Somewhere in this valley, right here, and we're hoping to um, eliminate this enemy convoy and knock it out. So this will probably be a bit of an interesting one. We better we gotta hurry and get a move on too before that convoy leaves. So we got a bit of time. Let's get this. Let's grab our loot crate because I always like taking these with us, just so it saves time with looting. All right. So, let's grab a Rifleman, Rifleman, and let's grab an Engineer and a Medic. Taliban confirmed. Um, and then let's hop in. So I'm going to bring, yeah, an RPG-26 and some IEDs, but I'm going to place these IEDs down on the road, but the RPG is going to be used as backup in case we need to take out anything else that's in our way. It's 11 p.m., but I can watch this. <sighs> Alright, everyone load up. Alright. Everyone's loading up. And let's move. Alright, so we gotta be careful when we're going down that road, too, because there could be a chance that they set up a roadblock. So we're gonna have to be a bit careful. Um, Alright, so anyone who's just tuned into the stream, welcome. We're about to, uh... Set a position and uh, to ambush a SLA convoy heading towards a outpost, an armored convoy at that. So it's going to be a uh, yeah, a convoy with a bunch of armored vehicles, probably some uh, APCs or maybe some SPAGs. Or right, we'll find out. But whatever it is, we're probably going to take it out with enough IEDs. You can you can blow up anything. Um. You should totally post your mod list in the Discord and have, have to join it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to, yeah, make a mod list and 
yeah, if I ever do another event like this, um, I'm definitely going to make it public, so, yeah, you guys can actually join in and, uh, yes, have a fun, have a fun time with me. But yeah, I'll definitely make a mod list whenever I, uh, whenever the stream is all concluded and stuff, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to move on down here. Going 140 kilometers down a busy mountain road! Hey, neighbor. <laughs> you guys saw nothing there. All right. Uh, well, there's no, there's no posted speed limit, so um, I'm going to use the whole speedometer. <laughs> I'm going to max it out, rather. All right. Passing through a small town of... Uh, what's the town called? Uh, Matoredo. All right. Passing through a small town. It looks a bit war-torn. And yeah, Red, if you're still here, I will definitely keep an eye out if there's a, she a, a Chevy Suburban. I will keep an eye out. <laughs> there's an idea to get Arma as Frankie Stasi. That's actually the reason why I got Arma in the first... Or one of the reasons why I got it on my uh, wish list, because uh, Red actually got it for me. One of my good buddies. Uh, but that's actually the main reason why I wanted to get Arma in the first place was just to play anti-Stasi. Because I love the whole concept of being a guerrilla movement where you have to use ambush tactics and you steal enemy equipment and vehicles and you just take over an entire uh, map. I mean, if for the whole speedometer, I will use the whole speedometer. Uh, oh, we got AK mags. Perfect. I should have grabbed some more AK uh, ammo. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going away from that outpost. So, that outpost I was talking about earlier, the one that's on an island, that's it. So, that's going to... That's going to be a later objective that we're going <laughs> to that we're gonna go after. I love UAC. I love UAC. All right. Um... Ooh! Roadblock. Everyone gets set for contact. We're about to unload on these guys. All right, let's engage. There we go, another combat music's kicking in. That's a grenadier. Run! Crap, move, 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 move. Come on, everyone out, everyone out. Whew. We don't talk about that. Trees is, trees is cover. Can we do it real quick? All right. We got a UAZ here. I'm sure all 40 will probably love that. Whoa! Oh, man, I got downed. There's somewhere over there on our left. Oh, yeah. Here's a new feature with anti-stazzy. Direct control. So you can take the, uh, you take direct control of uh, units if you're downed. So you can uh, revive yourself. Oh! Oof, never mind. Man. Okay, the... The uh, regular uh, militia are fairly well trained, I will admit. Alright, we gotta be careful. Hold on a minute. Dropped him. Alright, let's pop smoke so we can kind of obscure ourselves. We got a down guy here. Might as well get him up. All right. Uh, so it looks like there's only a couple soldiers left. Uh, we, there are some, two of our soldiers are down though, including me. Oh, they must destroyed. They must have run. They must have ran off. All right. Oh lord. Yeah, oh lord is correct. See, so yeah, even the standard, uh, even the standard, uh, conscripts or like reserve troopers are actually fairly well trained. So it'll definitely be a bit of a challenge for us. All right, let's get myself up. If I get lucky, I find my, I find an MG, mow down everyone from five meters away in an outpost. Where this kind of music hits, yeah. <laughs> I love the uh, the adaptive music mod, which is the. Uh, yeah, adaptive combat music, which is what I'm using for, uh, yeah, the little music that's playing in the background. It's a nice little mod. Alright. 
Um, first off, are our soldiers okay? Actually, no, that's a, that's, that's a lie. They are not okay. I think a few of them are down, so let's try to get them up. Okay, he's reviving him. Are you on him? You got him? Okay, he's getting him. All right, let's move on that roadblock and clear it out. It appears that two of the soldiers may have run off. So... Wait. Wasn't there a UAZ here? Wait, what? Where'd they all go? They must have loaded up... They must have, uh... Put everyone in the UAZ and drove them off. Or something. Um, okay, well, that's interesting. Oh crap, convoy's on the move. Alright, we gotta move. Alright, never mind the roadblock. We need to get in, in our uh, ambush position. That's so cold. Yeah, it's even it's even getting cold, uh getting cold here, which kinda I kinda like because, you know, where I live it's always freaking humid and hot, so it's nice to have a bit of a change in environment. Ooh, this hill. Ooh, this is actually a really good ambush spot. Alright, let's get a run on this hill. This is an ideal ambush position. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna place down some IEDs. Place one here. So the music comes on at the perfect time, I know. It's... It's such a good mod. <laughs> even, yeah, it's such a good mod even though it, like... It does, like, cut off music sometimes, but... Yeah. Alright. Convoy is... Oh, it's coming from there! Never, okay, we actually have a bit of a... We got a bit more time. Also, in interesting, the convoy objective isn't an armored icon. That means it's probably going to be a... A truck with an AA gun or something. Alright. And tell the truck to go up there on the hill. Alright, IEDs are placed. Let's get on this hill and wait for the convoy. Our transports were caught. We managed to put two RPG rockets in a Shulka, but it was still alive? How is that possible? Because, um, Shulkas are, like, very, uh, very, like, armored, so I'm surprised you actually got your hands on one of those things. Ooh, excuse me. Usually just one RPG should, like, instantly explode it, but you put two in it, it's still alive? Where, where did you aim for? Like, the, the tracks or something? Where's the truck? Alright, yeah, we, we got a bit of breathing room. Because that convoy's gonna get here probably in a... I don't know, maybe about five minutes, so we got a bit of breathing room. Oh, look at that bridge in the distance. It's pretty cool. Alright. So the truck to hop out. Alright. Tell these guys to stay up here a little bit. I'm gonna stay a little further down the hill so we can watch the convoy. Uh, actually, we go over here. There we go. Alright. Uh, well, first, one in the front and the other in the back. What? Like, in the ch in the chassis as well? Dang. That is, uh, mighty impressive. <laughs> also, tactical sit. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Looks like the rain's re letting up. I wonder where those guys at the roadblock went. They just disappeared. I guess they just they must have loaded up all their wounded and all their soldiers and just drove them off. Hmm. You know, there's that outpost over there. Heavily fortified. They got, yeah, HMGs up in the tower there. And they got, I think there's an, yeah, there's another one right there in that tower. All sorts of soldiers there. Machine gunner, one click, northwest. Uh, hmm. Keep our RPG for the back vehicle. Yeah, probably should. Yeah, the RPG is going to be his backup. The uh, the IEDs will definitely take, definitely take care of the more uh, armored or like uh, what's the word? Uh, more valuable targets. You know, ones that we probably can't really take out, or they'll probably be like a bit uh difficult if we don't blow them up. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to save the RPG in case we have to use it against a, uh, a high-value target vehicle if it survives. Uh, 
Was the Shulka part of the RHS mod? I found some RHS vehicles are immune to RPGs from other mods, such as 3CB. Um, I think there is a bit of a glitch. If you have, like, reduced damage on, which... Do I have that turned off, or do I have that turned on? Can I even check? Oh, I can't. All right. I, I think I may have forgotten to turn that off or something. Maybe I accidentally put it on, but... Yeah, I think sometimes with Red Hammer Studios, it's very rare, but sometimes you can, um... Sometimes there's a chance there'll be just, like, vehicles that will literally just be, like, invincible. It's mostly just, like, tanks from the RHS mod, but they'll literally be invincible. But that's a bit weird, though. Um, there's a big storm coming my way now. Probably be there tonight, tomorrow. Uh, managed to capture a leopard with Jancio and destroyed a bunch of attacking helicopters and trucks. Had Ace on for some time. I thought it was, thought I was going to lose it. So many medical things. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I haven't played with Ace, is just because of the medical system, but I know there's a version of it that doesn't have that, so I may try it out in the future, but I think for now I'm happy with, uh, I'm happy with what I, what's going on right now. Um... Alright, the convoy's entering the town of Eponia. They should be here within a couple minutes. Alright. I definitely want to stay down so we can kind of avoid detection. I had the same issue with Invincible Bradley. Put probably 10 RPG rockets in it. It was fine. I guess another thing that does matter too is if it has reactive armor. But then again, if it, gets, it survives 10 shots, I don't think even reactive armor could... Or in the same spot at least could pr protect against 10 RPG rounds. So yeah, it might just be the whole like Red Hammer Studios uh, Invincible Tank glitch. Or like... I guess it's just like AFV glitch because it kind of affects like any... Uh, armored fighting vehicle. All right, convoys on the move. Should be here. Yeah, within a within a few minutes. You know, go watch out for that outpost. This are going to go perfect, or everything is going to die. Exactly. Either the entire convoy is going to be blown to smithereens, or we are going to be blown to smithereens. <laughs> um. All right. Take a little bit of a water break. Ah. Hmm. So I'm trying to think about what would be the best place to attack next. It's definitely going to be either these two resource bases or probably this factory. It's kind of like secluded. Or this one down here. There's a lot of resource bases in this uh, this region. I guess they're kind of all over the place, but... There's a lot of them over here. I mean, they're all within, like, almost a four-kilometer radius, by the looks of it. Hmm, okay. Convoy's leaving the town, passing by that resource base. They should be here very soon. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like the Serrani army is not really doing too... Or the real army corps isn't doing too good against the forces in the south. Hmm. I'm debating if I should be... If I should be, like, on the ground over here and try to, like, shoot some of the convoy vehicles, or if we should just try to destroy the whole convoy. Um, Roblox and ACIC Plus is annoying if the U.S. Humvees have a grenade launcher decimates me early game. Yeah, no, Mark 19s are not to be messed with. They are, they are absolutely lethal. Um, I was driving a truck to a convoy site on a mountain and all this, an AA truck and airbase shot up all my guys and my truck. Jesus. Yeah, that's why sometimes I don't take any chances when it comes to, like, ambushing convoys, because, like, yeah, if like, because like, if I just don't, if I try to just capture some of the vehicles, they could just decimate us. So, I may just try to blow up all the vehicles in this convoy, but I'm not too, not too sure. I think what I will do though, here, I'm gonna move my soldiers over here. I'm gonna move them on this little embankment here, so they can shoot down at the convoy if it still survives. But I'm gonna move down over here. I think, like next to this tree. Or at least, like, somewhere down the hill a little bit. 
And if there's a vehicle that, I don't know, we can maybe capture, then we'll take it, but yeah. Oh. Ooh, I hear him. On. Guys. Go prone. All right. Oh no, guys, whenever we explode this, I highly suggest you turn your volume down because it's going to get loud. <laughs> oh, what was the convoy lead? Just scouting it out, I guess. Oh, so that's a patrol? Oh, dang, okay. I guess he's kind of uh, scouting out the area. The Russian D 30 artillery gun has laser guided missiles or shells. I should use them to take out Shilka's at air bases. That'd be pretty dang good. Oh, that UAZ is just doing a little patrol. Oh, we got a Ural. With the AA gun. Uh, a UAZ with a Dushka. Ooh, here they come. Alright, turn your guys' volume down. It's going to get loud. Three. Two. And one. Oh my god! Jesus! Alright, I'd say this convoy's done. Oh my god! Oh my god, the lag. Alright. Yeah, um... This thing's gone. This convoy is gone. Got secondary explosions going off. Oh my- Oh, that guy's burnt. Oh, God. Okay. Well, three convoy vehicles are destroyed, including the main target, which is the Euro with the, uh, anti-aircraft gun. <laughs> no, the UAZ! Yeah, I mean, we'll say a, a, a large IED on a UAZ may have been a, uh, poor decision, but I'm not taking any chances. Oh my god! That ex- Those explosions were so freaking large! Oh my god! Oh, we got a- We got a couple survivors here. Oh, these guys are burning. Alright, we got a few survivors here. Jesus Christ! Oh my- I told you I'll turn the volume down, cause- Oh my- yeah, I'll definitely be linking the mods I'm using, because Jesus. Oh, we got an RPG. All right, that's a good thing to have. Or RPG-7, to be exact. All right. Uh, Lagos, grab the truck. Two, driver, get in that vehicle. Well, these guys are all burnt. Jesus. All right. Oh, I see another survivor over here. God. These guys met a uh, pretty, pretty deadly fate. Uh, isn't it? Does the enemy deploy minefields? I was playing on Takis and drove a truck to get, get a helicopter, and then drove to a mine, killing me and my truck. Um, yeah, there are minefields, so they're usually planted in like forest areas, or sometimes they're deployed around like large uh, outposts. But yes, there is there is actually um, minefields on the uh, map. Um. Well, if I was there, I would be just doing something different with the survivors. I mean, yeah, these guys, these guys seem to be okay, but I don't know. We'll see if we can recruit them, but if not, then we'll uh, we'll deal with them. Um, how do those IEDs work? Well, they just they work as like regular explosive charges. You just place them down, and there's like an option in the top left, like you know, kind of like what you see in the top left right there, and then it just says like um, trigger mine or like or trigger explosives, and then. You just click that, and then boom, explodes them all. Um, well, you have two choices, man. Either you join us, or you tell me, screw you, and you try to run off, and I gun you down. Your choice. How about joining the good guys? Okay, he's smart. He actually joined us. And then he runs off into the woods. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, yeah, you guys... Stay or go aware mode. Stay low. Uh, no, automatic stance. Copy my stance. Okay. What about you? Do you want to join us? <gasps> uh oh. Where are you going? 
I should just let you die in that fire. They're already on extreme aggression? All right. All right, well, if you want to meet the same fate, dude, uh, just say screw you. Okay. We got two guys that survived the convoy and are willing to join us. Well, off they go. Don't mind the war crime that I just committed. Um, <laughs> we're going to move on. Uh, AK-74 ends. All right. AK-74s. What's this lying around here? 74s. This guy's a medic. Oh, God, these poor guys that are just burnt to a crisp. Uh, ooh! These guys got some pretty decent weapons. SMI HK-33s. Bro changed his mind after he saw what happened! <laughs> um, another question. How do I protect convoys? I always hop on the wrong road. So... I mean, this is kind of a, I guess, a hard uh, question to answer because it also depends on um, where the, you know, where the convoy is going, like with the road. So, yeah, like say, um, oh, that is past still? Yeah. So it says like a convoy from outpost near Aponia. So first you look for where the town of Aponia is, which is right here. And then look for a outpost that is nearest to that or some outposts that are close to it, like this one, or for instance, also this one. And then whatever marker that the outpost, uh, if there's an, if that, dist if the convoy marker, like, you know, this one is on the outpost, which in, in, in this scenario was this one, that's where the convoy is going to be going. So just try to narrow down which road you think they're most likely going to travel on. Cause they do like to utilize, uh, mainly highways whenever they can, like, you know, main roads. So, just do your, do your best, try to narrow down where they are, but also try to um, try to be ready in case you need to move positions. So just be set in case you have to relocate and change your position of uh, your ambush um, in case it isn't, you know, the area where they aren't actually going. Oh my god. Yeah, these, uh, these guys didn't stand a chance at all. Dude, I was playing an Alpha Survival Mission wave thing, and I'm AVAC came... God shot it down. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, well, this guy's a squad leader. Well, if there's any intel on him, it probably burnt to a got burnt to a crisp. The moment you get a, whoa, what's that? Is that UAZ coming back? Oh, it is. Well, capped him. Yeah, you want me to get a somewhat heavy Vic Assault on an outpost? <laughs> yeah, that's like... Um... The main thing you want to get in Anti-Stasi, like, quick, is like some sort of armored vehicle. Alright, well, this, uh... Police officer is actually alive. Actually, oh, I need to grab another first aid kit. Whoa! There's actually some decent ammo in here! There's ammo bandoliers. AS Val magazines?! What are you doing with AS Val magazines?! All right. Well, grab some first aid. Let's get this guy up. Steal the UAZ. Do it. All right. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I do want to take every single vehicle we come across in terms of, like, military vehicles because, you know, they always serve a purpose. They can be used for transporting or, you know, base assaults, depending on what they are. Man, these vehicles are engulfed in flames. All right. Let's load up all this stuff in this loot crate. Um. Alright. Yep, RPG-7. A Type 94 Nambu? Okay. A pistol at pulling mo 2000. AK-74s. A lot of them, actually. Uh, helmets. RD-54s. Alright. Yeah. This place is... This place is all messed up. Let's get out of here before they send a QRF. Before they notice that their convoy hasn't arrived just yet. Alright, everyone in. Oh, they shot the windshield a little bit by the looks of it. Alright. Where's, where's, where's their last guy at? There you are. 
All right, let's get out of here. Whew. All right, that's a job well done. Oh, wait. One last thing. You want to join us? All right, that was a no. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. And in my defense, they said, screw you to me. It's my birthday. You don't offend the birthday boy. <laughs> That's my response. <laughs> All right, let's get back to base before anything, uh, anything gets out of hand. Oh, we're taking 50 cal fire. Ooh, oh, the outpost sees us. Oh, no. Going off road a little bit. Woo. Oh, God. I am surprised I haven't run into a tree yet. Ooh. Oh my god, they killed one of us. They killed one of the guys in the truck. Come on, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. We're getting fired from 50 cal machine guns from that outpost. All right. This road is a bit dangerous to take, as it seems. We gotta get out of here. Come on, UAZ, book it. We gotta move. Oh, <gasps> hold on, one second. I promised Red I would take a Chevy Suburban, and I'm gonna follow up on that promise. Get in. Uh, bro, head lift off. Was it elbows in Pakistan? Is how to take? I had to do multiple assaults on to be completely open, no cover, and there's a roadblock. Yeah, sometimes you gotta utilize some different uh, strategies in order to attack some outposts. What a member of the press? Uh, would you kindly move out of the way, sir, before I run you over and turn you into roadkill? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's get that Chevy Suburban out of here. Average day of driving in a rush. <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes you got to utilize different uh, tactics to, like, uh, overtake an outpost. Sometimes what I do, if I don't have any, like, armored vehicles or if it's, like, a pretty heavily armed outpost... I usually try to get, like, a sniper rifle and, like, pick off the outpost from a distance and just target, um, target any, like, soldiers that are a bit of, like, a, you know, you know, high-value target, like, anti-tank soldiers, machine gunners, or just any, like, static weaponry or anything like that. Just we kind of know that, you know, that our forces will have a bit of an easier time going in there. I rushed a helix towards the roadblock and killed a bunch of the soldiers until I could, couldn't use it, so I ran towards some houses and defended against, like, 10 QRFs until I went in? What the heck did you do? <laughs> Who are you fighting against? You got 10 QRFs? Half of my squad was dead. Jesus. All right. Um, are you AZ? Back to, back to base. Uh, is this public anti -size series or is this private? Well, for this one stream um, and like some of the episodes I might make on it, this is going to be private, but I will definitely make some uh, like public, like, you know, multiplayer events in the future because, I mean, last time we did those, those were like really fun to do. They're kind of chaotic and a bit laggier than just doing like, um, you know, like standard like anti sazzy. But I would definitely want to do some more uh, like multiplayer live streams for sure, or at least just like multiplayer events. Um, so yeah, anyone who's just tuned in the stream, welcome. We are just returning to base after ambushing a SLA armored convoy. Um, it was. <laughs> It was just zero chance for them, man. Yeah, so another thing we're playing with is the uh, the AWS uh, sound mods, which, you know, completely revamp uh, sound effects and stuff for the game. So weapon sound effects, explosions, um, all sorts of stuff. They're completely revamped. And, man, the explosions are deafening, especially when vehicles explode. They're deafening. Okay, bet tag Discord on that for sure. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, keep everything posted, and I'll also, yeah, try to make a mod list for everything that I'm using. It should be a total of around 30? 30-ish 30 mods that we're using? Yeah, there's anything from, like, the Cup Terrains for Sakrani, the, uh, the Redhammer Studios and 3CB mods, um, on top of all the uh, quality of life mods that I'm playing with, like, you know, sound effects, um, realism mods that, like, you know, add, like, recoil changes, or, like, um, you can hear, or you can, you can really feel, 
like recoil or like being suppressed by enemy machine guns, like all sorts of stuff. Convoy went kaboom. Yeah, that's one way to sum it up. Alrighty, well, we got a Chevy Suburban, as uh, my good friend Red has always wanted to get in our anti stazies I found my grandpa's bolt action 9mm rifle. He used to be corporal in the army. Oh, that's pretty neat. My uh, my grandpa actually used to own an M1 Garand, um, but I think he sold it off a long time ago, so that's a bit sad. <laughs> Hoping to get another one someday. Man, oh my god, our helix is a bit banged up. <gasps> okay, let's repair this thing a little bit. Some of my favorite mods, sounds like a good time. <laughs> um, Alright, unload cargo. Alright, we'll dismiss our soldiers. We did take one casualty, unfortunately. I think he got shot by the uh, machine gun. I think he fell out of the back of our truck. That's a sad fate. We got RPG. We got a couple HK-33s, which are nice little rifles. Um, SSH-68s. I think I'm going to get rid of these SSH helmets, simply because I don't want to, like, um, have our soldiers use these these helmets because they could uh, result in some friendly fire instances where there's a bit of blue on blue. So I want to try to not look like the enemy so, you know, there's, we can kind of minimize any blue on blue uh, instances. I heard the Greek army has a bunch of surplus Korans. Hmm. Noted. <laughs> I got lucky when I was going to do my first military base attack. It was in Takistan. I was preparing for attack at a nearby outpost and the arrival sub-faction attacked the T-4s with a T-34. I took it. Dang, all right. A T-3485, that's not too shabby at all. <laughs> um, all right. So let's put this... Why can't I drop this? Um, I can't drop the loot crate for some reason. All right. Good thing I can just do this. There we go. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me put my AK in there so we may have a chance to unlock it. Let's put everything in here real quick. Because I want to just reorganize my inventory. Transfer. Easier for the assault. <laughs> Usually, if I had to go choose what military area I will go to. We got RPK magazines. Cool. I would pick tanks. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, oh, we can't put any camouflage on the, on the UAZ? Okay. Well, in that case, let me do a bit of Zeus magic here. So since I think with um with the like the SLA and uh, RACS mods, which is you know like the Royal Army Corps and the SLA or the Sirhani Liberation Army mod, there's not like any camouflages you can change most of their vehicles to. So I'm gonna just delete delete this, and let's just go to oh, let's look up UAZ. Yeah, let's look up some random. Random uh, UAZ. Just plop it down. And then we'll garage it so that way we can um, just change the camouflage on it. So yeah, look, there we go. We got a bit more choices of camouflage now. <laughs> um, aviation is my opinion, much better. <laughs> I hate flying. I mean, I, I, I think I kind of want to learn how to like maybe fly helicopters or something in the future because I mean... Helicopters are probably, like, my favorite, I guess, area of, like, aviation, so perhaps that. Um, so what kind of camouflage should we put on here? Dark green, 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 Chidaki, blue, Artistan, Afghanistan, National Police, Pakistan Police. Um, we'll just do, we'll do a nice dark green. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, I scored high enough on my AS... As that, the army was trying to get me a sniper position after infantry. Dang, okay. That's not too shabby at all. <laughs> um, Let's do a nice black on the Chevy Suburban. There we go. Um, all right, so yeah, our Helix is a bit banged up. So we got a Chevy Suburban, we got a UAZ, and a Toyota Helix. Um... All right, so do we unlock any anything else? Uh, ooh, what should I use now? Oh, we have one piece. We have a one piece seventy eight scope. God, I 
I mean, I like that the Soviets made optics for their guns, but God, they don't look the best. <laughs> um, what does this look like again? Oh yeah, it's like a it's kind of like a, kind of like a tiny like mini uh, PSO scope. Oh well, I'll run with it. Even though it takes up like half my screen. <laughs> um, we have RPK magazines. Okay. Um, this was a chipcon chipcon rig, ammo bandolier, RPG carrier, medic bag, RD fifty fours. Hmm. We should get a get a radio backpack somehow. <laughs> Alrighty then. All right, so let me just grab. Oh, we have an RPG now. Uh, only. Okay, that's actually not bad. We have three high explosive rounds and three uh, heavy anti tank rounds. That's not too bad. All right, so let's get some first aid. Uh, let's grab some Mark II grenades. A couple smoke grenades. Grab. Now we'll just take the thirty round mags, I suppose. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's not really great. Um, I thought it wasn't gonna sign up. Sign until I finish up some of my fire department stuff first. I'm gonna waste a bunch of time before I get full time position. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, I mean like, got these Soviet optics. I mean, sure, they look cool in the sight, but man, they <laughs> there's something that's for sure. Only problem with trying to become a sniper is that that it's a non session MOS, which basically means I have to. I have to attempt it, and it's not guaranteed. Huh. And I don't really, I don't really know too much about, like, uh... Like, all the, like, procedures to go through and stuff, because... I mean, I'm, I'm considering maybe going in the military in the future. Maybe not right now, because of all the chaos in the world. But, um... I don't know. Maybe sometime in the future, though, but... I don't know. I'm not too sure what I would do. Maybe Marines, maybe Air Force, something. I'm not too sure, but... I don't know. I'll have to do... I'll have to do a bit of thinking. <laughs> All right, so what is next? Uh, I'm back. All right, welcome back, Michael. And uh, welcome to anybody who's just tuned to the stream. Um, let's see, what can we do next? Logistics? An ammo truck. Hmm. Right, right smack dab in the middle of a pony. Maybe not for that one. Um, what a rescue mission. FIA supportees. Ooh. That's actually relatively close. No balls. Uh, world's always going to be chaotic. Doesn't matter. Nah, that's that's a fair point. Well, I guess until it gets a wee less chaotic. Uh, I know that in Greece it's unavoidable. You have to go before or after university. Oh, it's like a, yeah, mandatory uh, recruitment sort of thing. Um, I forgot what it's called exactly, but yeah. Alright, well, I guess we can try to rescue some refugees. We kind of do need some more human resources. Um, whoa, they lost a military base, which, oh yeah, it's on that island. I know the Royal Army Corps has complete control over the town of, uh, or what's this? What's this island called? Is it actually, is it actually just called, uh, Ramadi? Why am I trying to speak Arabic? This is Spanish. <laughs> um, hmm. Something is on the mission. I don't remember what it was called. The mission I just broke everything was breaking the troops. T posing they had armored one textures, but I'm assuming it's just Arma being Arma. Uh, probably, yeah. Well, because we all know how we all know how Arma <laughs> how Arma is. It just it just does whatever it wants to do, I suppose. Yeah, I guess let's go try to get some refugees on our side. Um, there are probably some vehicles in the town we can just commandeer, so let's just take our suburban. Wait, can we go undercover again? Let me see. Undercover? Okay, cool. That does work. In that case, I think we're going to do that. So let's bring a small team with us. Just to recommend a medic. Should be enough. Oh, excuse me. Um... All right, everyone hop in. Everyone hop in the Suburban. All right. Uh, 
Good morning, it's November 3rd now. Um, all right, so let's see here. Turn on the cover. Yeah, there we go. Totally nothing suspicious going on here, even though I'm still wearing my <laughs> my militia clothing. <laughs> all right, so yeah, mission is we're going to go try to go to that town and yeah, I guess liberate some prisoners. However, it might be kind of interesting trying to get over there. We're going to try to stick to the roads that were undercover, but and we may go overt pretty soon. Something happens in the future, Greek man. It's still November 2nd. <laughs> Alright. Um, can we go back to November 2nd? <laughs> can we just re rewind time? Hmm. Um, actually, let me just text on my numbers real quick. Thank you. Actually, did I see the smoke column? God, you can still see the smoke column from that dead convoy. Man. Is it just now dissipating? Oh, no, that's still pretty strong. Yeah, look, you could still see the smoke column from that dead convoy. Okay, the SLA have definitely got to notice that. That's a... That sticks out like a sore thumb from these, uh, these, these forests. Alright. Uh... Alrighty. Alright, so there's, there is an SLA, uh, base over here we may have to pass by, so we're gonna have to be a bit careful. Whoa! Oh, we got a bit, a bit of a lag spike here. Oh! Um. <gasps> um, it appears that the ammo truck has exploded? We've got an enemy. Man, 300 meters. Do east. Huh. Well. Moving on. <laughs> That's a bit strange. Oh, here's the SLA uh, resource base. Hopefully they don't catch on to me, to us if we pass by. There's yeah, some SLA forces there. There's a Ural inside. Yeah, let's just quickly pass by the base. Make it right here. Ooh, this place is like an old ruined town. Uh, there's a lot of guys over here. I'm surprised this compound's not actually like restricted or like blocked off or anything. All right, so we're about 700 meters out. Ooh, hey there, robot. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right. Jesus! Woo. All right, everyone hop out. Engage. Man, did I expect there to be a roadblock right there? Hello there. Got him right in the head. Let me turn my sight a little bit. There you go. The one down. Woo! Take cover. Oh crap, from behind us too. Crap. Well, let's get take cover inside this building. Crap. Everyone take cover. We're taking fire from the resource base. Oh boy. I see him over there. Oh god, I'm right in the head. Uh, I think I see another guy in that tower. He's hit. Uh, I think he's down. Taking a bit of fire. Uh, got patrol. Oh, a UAZ just showed up. Hello there. Crap, reload. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's just driving right off.
We shot them up a little bit. I'm getting a bit of lag here. Sorry for the bit of a low performance. What's the UAZ doing? <laughs> I'm gonna attack by NT because he looks like a skinhead yesterday. Oh, well, well then. <laughs> uh. Okay, oh, yeah, some guys over there. I don't think they see us though. Ah, either way, let's take him out. Dropped him. And dropped his buddy. Everyone good? Well then. Roblox taken out at least. Uh, things that's happening in Sweden. Soon I'm running to Denmark. Uh. Alright, well, if there's anybody, oof, if there's anybody else that's just tuned into the stream, welcome. We we're just, uh, in contact with some SLA forces as we're trying to, uh, head to a town to rescue some prisoners. Uh, any positions? Screw you. Hmm. You want to join us at least? Alright, he actually joined us. Oh, this guy's a G3A3. Oh, it's got a marksman scope on it too. Okay, that's actually a pretty good weapon to get. A guy's tiger? Oh, dear God! Screw you! Ooh. Holy cow! Alright, the SLA have definitely, uh... have definitely starting to mobilize. Whew! Where are we taking fire from? Alright, we gotta move. The SLA are getting a bit mad. Secondary explosion. Soldier dude's hella underrated. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take this G3. Magazines. Alright. Actually, do you have a rangefinder on him? Oh, no, no, no. I want that. Rangefinder. Perfect. Uh, real. Uh, where are you taking fire from? Over there. Oh! What's the range? 370. Uh, we'll just set that as... Okay, I can't set it any higher, I don't think. Alright. Let's see if I can pop this guy. I gotta aim a little higher... Dropped him! Alright, he's gone. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... I guess try to lose these guys a little bit. Oh, let's pick up that AK I got. Actually, we don't need them any more magazines because they're actually infinite now. So let's put that in there. Uh... Grab an AK-74. Uh, I guess take that as well. Uh... Don't need any of those. Radios, I think we have. PM Makarovs, I'm pretty sure we have a bunch of those. Alright. Um, is there anything else we could take here? There's a lot of dead SLA here. Uh, there's a squad leader. Wish I could have searched him. Smoke grenades, laser designator batteries. A GPS. Combat lifesaver. Uh, cause we already have most of the stuff that they have. Whew. Alright, let's just put this backpack in the truck, or car. Um, hope y'all are enjoying the, uh, stream so far. 
It's definitely been, definitely been a pretty explosive uh, beginning, to say the least. We've already blown up like four enemy vehicles. <laughs> All right, uh, just drop these. We already have much of those. Ooh, a PDU fuel rangefinder. Uh, all right. Grenadier. Got some VOG-25 grenade rounds. All right. G3 is the best gun ever. I mean, I will admit, I'm a big fan of the, uh, yeah, the G3A3s. They're definitely one of my favorite, um... Yeah, one of my favorite German weapons ever made. Or at least, I guess, modern German weapons. Uh... Alright. Uh, put all this in there. Man. Well, we could take out a... Take out a Gaz Tiger. I wish we could catch one of those things. I love the, uh... Little Russian Gaz Tigers. One of my favorite... One of my favorite, um, MRAPs. In, uh, modern day. Modern-day militaries, yeah. Uh, let's drop this, actually. Actually, I might want to take some additional- Whoa! Jesus, that was close! Whoa, where are you taking fire from? She's pretty close to us. Where is that? Uh... I found a semi-auto 30-06 rifle. Is your name Adolf? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god! Oh my god! The accuracy of that dude! Oh my god! <gasps> that dude whipped around and domed me! I can't even be mad! That is impressive! Oh my god! I, I I can't even be mad. I, I can't even be mad. I know. I got domed like the moment that dude looked at me. I, again, I can't even be mad. That dude has got some accuracy. And therefore, he is a high priority target. Oh, there he is. I freaking saw him. Where'd you go, buddy? There you are. Chia, bye bye. Just make sure he's dead. All right. Put that into an MLG car. <laughs> oh boy. All right, everybody good? Okay. Well. I think we probably need to get out of here before the SLA actually get pretty mad. Hold on, just... Yeah, hurry and revive that. I mean, you could... Could... <laughs> ah, yes. The best place for him to try to revive somebody right in a freaking fire. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh... Don't see... How's a Dougie? <laughs> Don't see anybody else. Oh, never mind. There's a few guys back there. All right, let's let's just load up in the the car and let's try to get out of here. I got a man down again. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. All right, let's get in. Let's get in and get out of here. Let's try to get to those prisoners. All right. One, two. And three. Let's move. 
Let's get out here for the SLA get really mad. Well, we have uh, destroyed four enemy vehicles so far. <laughs> so we destroyed two UAZs, a Ural, and a Gaz Tiger. All right. Now we're approaching the town. Uh, okay, there's a bunch of policemen on the water tower. Well, pff, he's gone. Jesus. What's oh, guy in the building? Dropped him. Also, this guy's just posted up on top of the building. <laughs> oh, you gotta love the, uh... Oh my god, that's a lot of freaking cops. Hold on. Frag! That'll be a good frag. Right up ahead. Whew. Still alive. Jesus. Oh my god. Be careful, dude. Can't even see anything. I'm like so suppressed. I got some surrenderies. Those guys aren't surrendering. Oh, got him. All right, most of them surrendered. Uh, man, that's a lot of dead boys. All right, uh, hold on, reveal many positions real quick. Oh, we need to cart this building. Just really real quick. There. All right, looks like it's all clear. Okay, this building is clear. All right, well, uh, let's get to let's get to freeing these prisoners, I suppose. Let me hit my desk. My my desk. All right. Yeah, sorry if it, sorry if the uh, there's a bit of lag. I don't mean to try to. Uh, yeah, it's fine with it. Increase my frames a little bit. It's not it's not an issue with my graphics since uh, I got like an RTX and a decent CPU to make it run. I just probably just need to just optim uh, clear out my my computer a little bit so it runs a bit better. I hear a Ural coming. Is that enemy? Civilian? I don't know. Like, do any of you guys have not don't have any first aid kits? Huh, interesting. The police officers don't have any first aid kits. Alright, well, you wanna you wanna join us at least? That's a yes. What about you? Also a yes. And you. Also, you... All three of those guys just had the same... Fi he didn't join us. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Uh, what, what about you? Uh... <laughs> Yesterday, I freed a prisoner of Oni. His first move was to jumping into the roof, getting stuck. Um... Uh, you want to join us? These guys aren't really being too smart today, are they? Oh, never mind. You know what? Ah, screw it. I'll just let him go. Uh, can I get? Can I get to you, please? Hey there. You uh, you you wanna you wanna join us? <laughs> what the? Oh my god! He just phased through the freaking water tower. All right. Uh, oh, tire on the UAZ is kind of bust. Uh, okay, let me just grab a first aid kit real quick. 
Alright, we're going to free these prisoners and I guess take one of these uh, cars back. Maybe this truck, since, you know, transfer truck is actually really good. Probably no first aid in there? Alright. Oh, there's more! Oh, we're still in contact. Let the enemy join you. If you're willing to betray their own country, they'll betray you too. Well, I guess that's fair, but I mean, the SLA aren't really too liked, so there's a chance that there is our, some, there's some defectors. HOLY COW! Oh, we got a man down. Oh, Jesus. Crap, guys, take cover! Jesus! Yeah, I'm sure you got hit. Oh my god! Got him? Woo! Gotta be careful, because, uh... There's only, only got one soldier left that's up. Go on this side. Target neutralized. He's down. Lay down. I'm not sure if they're all down, but most of them are. Let's get these guys up. All right. All right. If anybody just tuned into the stream, welcome. We're uh, currently just trying to assault a town that's uh, has a bunch of uh, allied prisoners in it. So we're trying to, yeah, get in here and try to free them. This guy's just. <laughs> How are we even gonna get to that guy? <laughs> all right. Well, I can at least just get this guy that's up here. Let's uh, free you real quick. Five. Join group. Ready. I wonder if there's more prisoners in this town. There might be. Oh, seems to be there seems to be too much presence of uh, police here just for two so uh, two two guys here. So let's go in over here and investigate. Oh, and you just stick back over here. Move left. Oh, this is for any army. Machine gunner, 75 meters, just up ahead. Ready. Oh, crap. Soldier, 75 meters, front. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Move, 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 move. Oh, the Serrani army are here. All right. There they are. Oh, got him. Man, I'm actually surprised I hit that dude. We got contacts close. And we actually have Serrani uh, army here. That's not good. Fence. Okay. Um. I'm not sure if there's anybody else. Over here to this small, small amount of hay. Oh, Car, oh, oh, that's a lot of police. Jesus, where'd they come from? Copy loading. Where 
are you going? Who got him? Who? Hi, brother. Keep up the vids, man. Love them. Thank you. Glad you enjoy them. All right. Not sure if there's anybody else, but most of them are definitely dead. Looks like another patrol here. Or reinforcements. Woo! Oh, I just saw him down there. Oh, Serrani, yep. Serrani Army. Dropped him. Got him as well. And got him. And good thing is the uh, Serrani Army guys don't really have a lot of, uh... A lot of good body armor, so... These guys kind of drop like flies from like a single 7.62 round. Oh, there. Oh, they're definitely guarding a bunch of prisoners over there, for sure. There's a lot of soldiers down there. Oh, he got domed. Kind of lost. Where are you? And why is there constant waves of enemies coming towards you? Whoa, what the heck? So we're currently in the town of uh, Tandag, and we're trying to rescue some refugees that are here that are taken prisoner. Um... But apparently there's a lot of Sahrani uh, military presence here. So there's probably a lot of prisoners they took they took hostage. <sighs> Alright, let's reload real quick. Oh, hello there. Got some more police. Where's this guy? I see some I see some prisoners in there. Where are these guys? Uh oh. That's AKs. Woo! Hey there, buddy. Woo. Got ten. Oh, right in the neck. That poor guy. Something. Cars. Oh god, hello there. Man, good thing you're bad at aiming. Otherwise, I would have been dead. Oh, also in the throat. Jesus. I think you're a chopper in the distance. Wait, what? Oh crap! Why well, haven't we failed it? Oh, this is a villain coming by. Oh, they must have killed some of the prisoners or something. Now we can't do much. We first have to leave then. Dang it! Ah, oh, they must have just killed some of the prisoners or something. I guess just. Let's get a run. Oof. Oof, this guy got shot up a little bit. There's a lot of dead dudes in here. Let me try to get them out. There's a lot of cars driving around. Hold on, I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna get these civilians to stop real quick. I don't want them running any of us over. Uh, there we go. Okay, well, you know, maybe this isn't all in vain. I'm gonna go. I guess we'll go get our suburban. Uh, it has been two years since it says episode one. Time goes by fast. Yeah. Agreed, my friend. It's definitely been a while. <laughs> um, so, there's a lot of good stuff here we could probably take. So, I'm going to head back to base, uh, try to grab a loot crate, and we'll try to, uh, try to, yeah, I suppose, um, get all this stuff back to base. So we can at least get something out of this. Actually, is there a toolkit in here? 
There is. Uh, oh yeah, never mind. I want to pair this. What was that? It's got a big explosion. All right, let's see if we can get it back. Let's get see if we can get back to base unless we get shot up. Actually, I guess we could just take a detour through here. Getting a bit laggy. All right. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. Uh, what time is it actually? Seven thirty-two. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, God! <laughs> no, yeah, I forgot these UAZ tires are not very durable, so they kind of break if you hit like a simple fence. <laughs> Yeah, not too, not too durable. Driver. Ooh, I guess civilian vehicles spawning into each other has happened to be before. Yeah, I think with Antisazi Ultimate though, they kind of almost removed that feature or feature that um <laughs> that glitch. So um it doesn't really happen a whole lot, but it sometimes happens. So, that is a possibility. So we're gonna get this thing back to base, and then we'll uh, yeah, grab a loot crate, go loot everything down there, and yes, yeah, so we'll at least get something out of all this, uh, all this fighting. Oh, that was an effective detour. Oh, back at base. All right, well, let's transfer all this. Um, actually, can I get? Can I put a loot crate in this UAZ? I don't think I can. I'll just garage him. All right, let's get a helix. All right, so we're going to head back to that town we were just at, and we're going to just head there and load up all the, uh, yeah, load up all the loot that's sitting around there, because we'll take, we'll take everything we can get. So yeah, might as well, and we went there for the, we went there to rescue some refugees, but they must have killed a lot of them, so it failed the mission, but we'll at least get some, uh, guns and equipment out of this. Actually, I'm going to go in third person, or first person, so it's a bit easier. All righty. I yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the uh, hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. It's definitely been pretty pretty hectic to say the least. Blew up some enemy vehicles. We're definitely in some pretty pretty big conflicts, I guess, so far for some decent sized engagements. All right, just keep going this way. There's a small farm. See, so yeah, I was gonna head to that town. We're gonna load up all the stuff there, and then we're gonna RTB. All right. Make a right turn here. Is this the right town? Yeah, this is the right town. Okay. So, also got a bunch of cars just parked right here. So let's, uh, you know, just load up all this stuff, I suppose. Yeah, these prisoners are here, but we can't really do much of them since the mission failed, so they're just gonna kind of be there now. Uh, oh, change the ultimate to Roblox vehicles don't seem to have guns anymore. I'm not complaining as I can't bother with Mark 19s. I think sometimes they're, they will have, like, um, like weapons, but like at the start, they're just like simple unarmored vehicles, yeah, that are on Roblox. Uh, okay. Oh, so you back in this SUV. Uh, 
Oh, I'll get a man down. We lost our combat medic. Um, I guess take that transport truck. Or, mm, actually, this U these UAZs have some decent stuff in it, so... I guess I can hook some tow ropes up to it. Alright. So let's see here. Uh, can I not? Oh, there's no tow ropes on this thing. Okay. In that case... Hey, eh, you just hop in the UAZ. Okay. Gather up all the loot. Neat. We'll definitely be, un we'll definitely be unlocking some, uh... Some weapons on here because we have some more AK-74s, AKS-74Us, some decent weaponry. What the heck? When I was doing this weird glitch again. What? The heck? Uh. Wait, where did that loot crate just go? Oh, it's over here. The heck? <laughs> Sometimes whenever I pick up the crate, it doesn't let me, like, drop it for some reason, so I guess I'll just have to put it in the truck constantly so I can move it around. Oh, we, we did do the mission. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we got that one dude back to base. I told him to just leg it through the forest. <laughs> I guess he finally got back. Um, oh. Whoa. All right, moving on. <laughs> We're not going to question that. All right, we got a dead bunch of dead SLA forces over here. Uh, but it's funny if you have to, if you have, uh, it's fun to have you back. I enjoy watching you solo, but not too many channels to do solo arma. I know Kerbo and Jack Arden maybe are both good, but you are by far my favorite. Well, thank you, man. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I'm actually like, I guess sort of one of the top, like, I guess, anti stazzy YouTubers now, I guess? Or I guess, at the moment, sorta. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm actually, like, I guess getting a lot of popularity and stuff from all this. Uh... Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely making a, a big difference, for sure. Alright, so... Let me just make sure that I looted all these SLA guys here. There's a guy. Is he looted? Yeah, he's looted. Okay. Alright, now here comes the, uh... Here comes the issue of trying to get out of this town, or heading back to base. Well, I guess we could just go through the mountains like we did earlier, but I do want to loot that roadblock that was there earlier. Let's see. Hey, you're all... Oh! Oh crap, some police here. Hold on. Let me just, uh... What? Not sure how I missed that first shot, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> well, there's a small police patrol that was just here, so... Might as well take them out. Oh, I don't have any first aid kits. Well, I'll just put you out of your misery, dude. Sorry. All right. All right. Let's just hop back in. Okay, so just head down there to where that roadblock was. All right, gather scattered loot. All right, four thousand. We got a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> Interesting how the uh, these police here use Type 94 Nambus. It's a bit interesting. All right, let's head down to this roadblock. Yep, still here. All right. I mean, yeah, might as well, might as well loot all this stuff that's here, because there is... Oh! Some 
more soldiers here? Oh yeah, there is. I see him poking out of the bush. Whoa! Did you just kill him? Oh my god. Nice freaking shot, dude. I'm impressed. Usually AI are horrible at aiming, but man, they uh they took him out with precision. The moment I try to peek out a cover to hit him, he they just dropped him instantly. Okay, well, you get back in the SUV. And then you Actually, what's in here? Okay. Uh you get in here. Get in that vehicle. I joined Sazzy. I've been playing it for almost two years now, but every time I get in World Level 4 or 5, I get bored and end up starting a new playthrough. That is exactly what I do as well, because I love just doing the uh, the start of Anti Stazzy, because usually it makes this like it makes it more like strategic and stuff, because you have to really think out like strategies like how to attack an outpost or you know, like just do this, do stuff like that. But uh Yeah, like I do love the the beginning of anti stats the most. It is by far the funnest part. Ooh, excuse me. Um, did they regarrison that outpost? Looks like it. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but they still got some soldiers down there patrolling the area. Hmm, what do you think? Should I try to engage them from here? I suppose I could. Oh, let's see if I can get in this building. Can I climb up here? Uh, can I? Nope. Alright. I guess we'll just stick right here in this window. Hmm. Ooh, hello there. Let's see if I can take these guys out. Two meters. Ooh, there he goes. Alright. Yeah, let's see if we can do just a bit of sniping here. And we could move down to that resource space and actually capture it. Uh, the Girl of Warfare fades away as the game goes on. Yeah, and then it, it kind of just devolves into uh, conventional warfare, which... I mean, yeah, not to say it's boring, but it's just... Yeah, not as fun as just normal uh, guerrilla warfare. Gotcha. Alright, I don't see... Oh, never mind. Oh! I nailed him. I see he's still alive, though. Soldier, 400 meters, north. Uh, you know, I think we, we may try to, uh... Maybe attack and capture this place. In that case... Let me... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna request some reinforcements to come down here. Hello there. Got a radio operator. Let's take him out. Oh, dropped him. Can I reload? Ooh. No, no, no. You're not going to revive your buddy. Ooh. Come on. Ah, come on. Ooh. Taking a bit of fire. There you are. Dropped him. Machine gunner, 400 meters, north. Oh, where's the combat music when I need it? <laughs> AT soldier, 400 meters, north. I don't see anybody down there. Oh, whoa, man, they're everywhere down there. Look at a bunch of cockroaches. Rifleman, 400 meters, north. Get him. There you are. Alright, reload. I got three magazines left. Gotta make a count. Oh, got an RPG guy down there. Ah, come on. There we go, he's dead. Uh did I just see a guy in the rubble over there? Oh yeah, oh that's a marksman actually. Let's kill him. Alright, 
just to make sure he's dead. Because I don't want him coming back to life and haunting me later. <laughs> don't see anybody else. That was some pretty good sniping. Oh. I'm a machine gunner. Ah, dang it. Uh, Lake of Insanity feels easy, though. Maybe I'm not sure if the enemy gets stronger, but attacking enemy in outpost and easy, easy, easy than early as you get good stuff then. Yeah, it also depends just how, like, what the difficulty is for the uh, the enemies, because, you know, they could launch, like, large attacks against you, like, you know, tanks or, like, attack helicopters, IFVs, all sorts of stuff. Especially in later game. Man. Oh, there you are. Grabs him. There you are. Come on. Oh, Jesus! There that guy goes. <laughs> Just went flying through the air like a freaking shooting star. I saw another guy over there by that rubble, but I think I lost him. Alright, so anybody who's just uh, tuned to this stream or is wondering what's happening, uh, we're trying to make our way back to headquarters, but we're kind of in the way of a enemy resource base, so we're kind of sniping the enemy garrison, and we actually may try to capture and hold this area. Uh, let me request our reinforcements to come down here. Ooh. Is that a tank guy? Dropped him! Alright, two mags left. Uh... Yeah, see, yeah, it's just... Mostly just, yeah, just uh, uh, garrison hopping to, like, each and every, like, uh, building. He slipped on the bullet. Alright, don't see anybody else. Hey, I'm promoted. Yay! <laughs> Alright. Whoa! As soon as I turn my back. Oh, they're moving up on me. Come on. Oh, I see him. Fall back. Roger. I'm not getting sniped again. Nope, you stay down. Woo. Man, 100 meters. There's a small uh, sentry team coming up at us. Where is he? Also visual on him. I don't know where he is. He's probably in the bushes. Oh! There's a guy down there. Ah, dang it. Ooh. Got him. Where are reinforcements at? Alright, they're on the way. All right, let's, um, all right, you get back in the UAZ, you get in the SUV. All right, we're going to push down to the, uh, that resource base, and I guess try to take it and hold it. You got back up. Yeah, I definitely want to try to bring some uh, reinforcements with us, because, you know, might need to in case there's an enemy QRF. All right, let's just pull off right here. Looks relatively... Ooh. Hey there, buddy. Oh, man! I think that dude freaking ate the bullet. Jesus. Ooh. All right, the girl just showed up. Uh, set a waypoint. Let's tell them to... Seek and destroy. Combat mode. Combat. Alright. Lead sandwich. Let's 
There's one guy in this alleyway over here. Move. Let me re reload real quick. My last mag. Oh, I got four bullets left. I got a secondary? Nope. Is that him? Nah, he's dead. Oh, crap. He's over here somewhere. Everybody's behind me. Woo! Jesus. Crap. Where's this guy? Whoa. There he is. Ow! Screw you! I got one bullet left. I'm gonna have to change weapons. Oh, and I'm hit. Oh, this is the Apex uh, soundtrack. Heck yeah. Gotta heal real quick. Here we go, first aid kits. Take that gun. All right. Here, real quick. All right, where's my buddy at? Hope Armor 4 has more single player abilities. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, I hope that. Hope they fix most of the bugs and stuff. And hope, hopefully, it won't be like too. You know, performance intensive, because you have all the all the new game. Or I just hope it just turns out, you know, better than most modern games nowadays. Because even like Payday Three, I think has kind of been kind of been a letdown, sorta, from what I've heard. Yeah, I just hope it hope it'll be all right. I mean, nonetheless, Arma Three is still going to be very well, much popular. Like it's going to be. I think still very popular, even if uh, Arma 4 does come out, it's pretty good. I almost shot you, you got a freaking... freaking uh, SLA helmet on. A lot of dead enemies here. A lot of dead enemies here. Uh, let's clip these hangers over here real quick. Mass left down. There's no single player or campaign. Is that actually confirmed or, or yeah, just like yeah, just hypothesizing because hypothesis. That's not a word, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, just I just hope it's hope it'll be good. Let's tell our soldiers to stay here inside the outpost. I'm gonna grab that loot crate and go loot everything. Whew. Alrighty. Man, this place is just trashed. I paid three. There isn't any. I. I mean, armor for my bed. Oh, okay. Got it. Um. Yeah, I, I've heard that it's yeah, not too, not too good at the moment. All right. Well, I guess the only thing you can do is hope and pray that it gets a bit better. I suppose. 
of thunder by the sounds of it. Alright, let's get her, get her all the loot. Oh, we have a bunch of AK-74s. Uh, another RPG. SMI. Alright. Now, I suppose let's just capture the place and hold. And wait for another counterattack. Or if there will be a counterattack. Uh, can I heal you by any chance, dude? No, that doesn't seem like it. Alright. I guess one and all, just the action missions and promotes are kind of crap. Uh. Oh. Okay. Wait, why are you wearing an AAF uniform? Alright then. <laughs> I guess we're wearing uh, AAF digital uniforms. Actually, might as well get in this town. That's an interesting ragdoll. <laughs> I guess we'll get in this tower and uh, s <laughs> and see if there's a QRF coming our way. All right, get a good view of the road from that outpost. Now, there could be a QRF. There might not, but might as well stay on guard and make sure. Can I get a guy to stay right here? Uh, you, go over here. I want you to be on the lookout. There's a storm coming. Don't see a counterattack by any chance. There's probably, there isn't going to be any. Well, we're level two now, actually, so we're definitely we definitely caught the SLA's attention. Hmm. All right, this guy's gonna be on watch duty. Uh, I'm gonna go make sure that we looted all the soldiers that we can. All right, we got a flatbed truck. Okay. Yeah, another reason why... Oh, Aponia. Alright, cool. Uh, another reason why I don't want our... Yeah, look, I don't want our soldiers having these helmets because I almost just shot one of these guys, like, immediately. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make sure they, they don't use these helmets just so we don't uh, shoot each other. Man, all these vehicles have some pretty good equipment in it. They're in all of them. Step gun, I'm stuck. <laughs> Step slow here. God dang, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Alright, garage this. Ooh, SVD ammo, AS valve, PKM, MP443 ammo, OGV7, RGV5 grenades. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take it stuff from the loot crate. No, I don't want you guys doing that. No, 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 get away from my loot crate. You may be, you may be my, our soldiers, but I'm not letting you take all of our stuff. <laughs> God, I forgot, they just kind of steal stuff. <laughs> Alright, now that's just instant karma. Uh, yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> he literally teleported. No, no. He freaking stealing stuff. Whoa. Um. Uh, um. Uh, uh, um. Um. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> God, Arma is is a strange thing. <laughs> all right, let's gather up all the loot. He wanted the loot. No kidding. He was gonna go out of his way to grab whatever it was from that crate he wanted. All right. Well, I suppose this is all good. Let's just garrison our soldiers that are here. Um, put these guys on here as well. Actually, no, I can't. Fast mover! An Antonov AN-12? I'm sorry? Parachute, 400 meters, southeast. Oh, coverage of reinforcements. Wait, is it on us, though? What the heck? 
heck? What the heck is going on? Oh. Oh. Okay, then. Defies phys physics law just for some loot. What the heck is going on? The SL looks like they dropped reinforcements or something at that outpost. Something just exploded. Uh, who knows? All right, well, let's just grab these vehicles and garage them, and then we'll take our truck and... Yeah, head back to base. There's just a massive bullet hole in the windshield. All right. I guess we'll see if we could do maybe a maybe one or two more things, and then I guess we'll call it in there, or call it for the night. But yeah, let me see if we can do one one big thing. I suppose. Gotta go talk to later. Alrighty, well, uh, take care, Carson. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining me, or joining my stream. All right, well, see you later. All right, so yeah, we're gonna garage these two UAZs because they do have some decent weaponry in them, and also it's good to take any. Vehicles we can grab. Never know when you might need just a couple jeeps to get the job done. I'll have to change the camouflages on these two. Alright, um... I can't use tow ropes? Okay. Can I garage it from here? Nope. Alright. Well, I'll just take at least one of these trucks, I think. Uh, will the series be multiple live streams or episodes? Well, I plan to do actually, like, episodes and stuff, but since today is my birthday and, um, I did a stream like this, uh, last year on the same day, I figured I should do just a live stream, and also just since I, uh, have not a lot of time to, like, make the, uh, actual episode, so I figured I'd at least just do a, uh, a live stream, sorta. Ooh, excuse me. Alright, got all this. All right. Um, but yeah, I will also do like live streams every now and then because I do like doing live streams because you know, lets me just talk to all y'all in person and also uh, also just uh, it's just fun to also just talking to you guys and doing like big events with uh, a bunch of people and stuff. So yeah, it's a little bit of both. Mainly episodes, I hope, but also a bit of a uh, a bit of uh, live streams as well. All right, let's head on home. Don't know what the lights are doing with the bridge there, but oh well. All right, yeah, it's turning dark, so we may need to rest for the night so that we don't uh, get so we don't have a bit of a disadvantage because the SLA may have night vision, so definitely a bit of we'll definitely be at a big disadvantage if if so. Alrighty, well, just heading back to the... Heading back to the headquarters. Ooh, bit of lag there. Uh, Alright, turn's coming up. Alright, we're doing not too shabby. Not too shabby. Yeah, I hope y'all hope y'all are enjoying the... Uh, ooh, missed my turn. Hope y'all are enjoying the stream so far. Definitely been a pretty good start, I would, I would assume. And this pickup truck's been shot to pieces. I mean, like, all the windows are basically just sh to the point of shattered. Alright. All right, heading back to the base. Almost there. Yeah, I gotta figure out what's going on with my little, uh, my little live stream thing. It's gotta get my I get my little viewer count thing working, and I also want to uh, try to get like my messages and like chat overlay working because I'm not sure why it's not working anymore. All right, so first off, I want to get rid of these helmets because I don't want our soldiers using them because again they'll just put a massive target on their heads from friendlies because it could be interpreted as uh, enemy and yeah friendly fire. 
I don't want any of that to happen. Let's transfer cargo. And just put this away. All right. We got a lot of UAZs in here now. Ooh, we like AK-74s, AKS-74Us, RD-54, belt equipment, RGO grenades. Okay, we got some pretty decent equipment now. Uh, one second. Yeah, so you can't can't change the camo, so I'll just get something that's kind of similar, but be kind of fitting. Ooh, a bit of lag there, jeez. Okay, so let me delete, delete, delete. Then we'll just spawn in. Type. Uh, we'll spawn in two just generic UAZs. Boop and boop. And Ural. Nope. Ural. Um, I think it's the recovery version will work. Actually, don't do an AF camo. Let's just do... Eh, just do this, I suppose. There you go. Just want to get some different camouflages for our vehicles since, you know... Um, is there going to be a game mode like the Armor 2 campaign where you build a base, but you can recruit comrades? I don't know about liberation, but getting resources is a pain. Well, um, like you're talking about just like, um, like in, uh, Arma, if they'll have like that same sort of game mode, like from the, yeah, from the past game. Uh, let's put that way. I wish we had more G3A3 ammo. C74N. Hmm. Okay. Guess I'll grab a uh, RPG. Whew. All right. Um, an ammo bandolier. Medic bag. I guess I'll stick stick with these. Uh, no real good piece of a body armor just yet, so I guess I'll stick with my little chest rig. Uh... Yeah, then we'll just grab a... Oh, actually, let's grab one of these, so I can put a little uh, red dot sight on there. There we go. These... What else helmets do we have? Three of them? Okay. Yeah, no night vision. Alright. Just reload real quick. All right, that'll do. All right, so let's go ahead and just save the game real quick, just so that I don't forget. All right, and I suppose let's skip eight hours, and we'll see if we could do maybe one or two more things, and then I'm gonna go hop off, eat some din-din, and eat some, uh, some chocolate cake. <laughs> Alright. Ah, perfect. Right in the morning. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, I love Arma so much. <laughs> Alright. What is something that we can do? Still just run ammo truck. Uh, that's... That's gonna be pretty dang difficult. Um, rescue mission? More FIA supportees. Uh, maybe. Oh, it's by resource base, though. Whoa, another armored convoy. A convoy from outpost near Moto... Motoredo. It's about to part at 5 o'clock. It'll reinforce outpost near Motoredo armored vehicles for the intercept it, store destroy. Okay. Um, near Motoredo. Where would that be? Uh, I would assume it's probably this one? I think... Hmm. I suppose that's, I suppose that's something we could do. Um, I guess we could try to go ambush another armored convoy. Come back. I see you're still streaming. Yeah, welcome back, Nuke. I'm uh probably gonna I, I guess stream for about another hour. I'd say. What time is it? Yeah, eight eleven. I'll probably get off at like uh, around nine. So it's about like forty fifty minutes something like that. So what is the stream going on for actually? Uh, let me check. How long? Uh, oh yeah, for about two hours and 45 minutes. All right, not too bad. So yeah, we got, we got a mission for another armored convoy. Uh, ooh, 
bit of live air. I suppose it is a possibility we could do that, but is there anything else we could do? Actually, let me, uh, let me clear garbage. There we go, a bit smoother. Uh, what a destroy mission. Anything like that we can do? Let's recapture a radio tower. Mm, not really. Rescue, supply, destroy, assassination. Assassination? Kill the traitor. Oh, it's in that same town. Oh. That might be a mandatory thing we have to do. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a lot of enemies there. Okay, well... I'm not sure if we can do that, because there is a lot of, uh... There's gonna be a lot of enemies there, and I don't think we have enough firepower to really take that place. There's gonna be guys guarding the refugees, guys guarding the traitor, and with all that activity there, they're most likely gonna be calling for reinforcements from somewhere. So, I guess really the best bet might be just doing that armored convoy mission. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. I suppose we could try to go do that... Yeah, try to go do that armored convoy mission. Well, I guess let's get two IEDs. Um, bring an M72. Shoot, now nah, we'll get we'll get three. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go ambush yet another armored convoy. <laughs> uh, we'll take the we'll take the Ural. All right. Oh, right, anybody who's just tuned into the stream, welcome. We're about to go ambush another armored convoy. Some because it's one of the easier missions we could probably do, and, uh... I mean, yeah, why not? Might as well ambush some armored convoys, try to take out some of their armored vehicles in the area, which could come back to, uh... help us out a bit. I was wondering, how did you get the awful color to appeal orange instead of red? So, what I did, actually... Uh, I talked about this in the beginning, but... What I did was I went to configure... Um, was it game options? Yeah, game options. Go to colors, and then here I just completely changed um, uh, like how they are. So go to map, and yeah, I changed them so where their icons are, yeah, you know, like orange and cyan. So yeah, the SLA forces they're orange because it's kind of one of their main flag colors. Um, and then cyan for the um, oh, excuse me, for the the real army corps since you know their main color on their flag is cyan so it kind of makes it well man i'm burping a lot it makes it look a bit more like realistic and like fitting for the factions kind of so yeah i just figured why not do that um so five o'clock okay let's um did i buy loot crate already yeah i did okay so Let's grab a few riflemen, medic and engineer. There we go. Hey, this guy's actually, these guys actually have AKs and stuff now. Cool. Now guys are actually going to be able to put a bit, put up a bit more of a fight. Because now they're actually a bit, uh, a little, a little more well armed. All right, cool. Well, let's uh, hop in the Ural. And let's head to that ambush site. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to ignore that mission since it's kind of a heavy kind of a pickle trying to attack that. And we're gonna have to be careful because of that outpost, because we've taken fire from there before. Alright, everyone's loaded up. Let's move. Alright. Interesting. I didn't even know you could do that in Venomer. Thanks for showing with me. No problem. Yeah, I figured I found out about it a little while ago, but. Yeah, I never really used it a whole lot up until now, because, I mean, I figured it'd be kind of cool to just change it around a little bit, make it a bit more fitting. Uh, let's see, I think we, we definitely got a bit more, uh, a bit more breathing room in this area, actually. Actually, we could probably go on this road and ignore that outpost a little bit, or at least kind of ignore it, so we don't have to go on the main road. So we try to take the armored vehicle or blow up everything up again. 
Um, I'm going to try to capture it, but if we absolutely need to, then I will, uh, yeah, blow it up. But I will try to uh, capture it because, you know, it'll definitely benefit us a bit more than just simply blowing it up. Uh, I will place I will place it a large IED charge on the road though, just in case there's something that we can't really kill that we probably need to blow up. The thing is though, if it's a um, if the convoy objective is like you know like an APC or like a just a something that's not easily killable, then yeah, I'm definitely gonna be sure to try to blow it up or just neutralize it as fast as possible. Um. Also, yeah, thank you for everyone that's tuned into the stream and thankful for getting me for uh, to get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm uh, eternally, or eternally, I'm uh, just very grateful for all you guys that have, you know, given me a lot of attention and uh, support and stuff over the over these couple of years. So, thank you all. Thank you all for the people who have been subscribed to me and people who like my content. <gasps> oh, hey, Ducky, what are you doing in the middle of the road? <laughs> Yeah, thank you everybody who's just, you know, supporting me all this time and, you know, watching all my content. It means a lot to me. So, yeah, I just hope that, uh, hope this, anti this anti sassy season will be a bit of a, uh, a bit of a fun ride, I suppose. Alright, make a left turn here. I saw it's a bit laggy. I think it's just because that outpost back there was loaded, loading in. Oh. That just... Civilians? Okay, looks like it. Probably escorts are funny. There was a tank escorting the main objective. Yeah, sometimes in later objectives, or if they have extreme aggression, yeah, they will utilize, like, armored vehicles to guard the, uh, the convoy. Like, tanks, APCs, IFVs, um, yeah, MRAPs. It'd be kind of cool if the convoys actually had, like, helicopter escorts. I think that would actually be pretty cool, because there is actually, you know... Helicopters that will escort like convoys and stuff in real life, so it'd be kind of cool if at least, um, if at least, yeah, like light helicopters would like guard them and like escort them. It'd be kind of cool. Once, well, yeah, again, it just depends on your difficulty settings or resources and, yeah, war level and aggression. Yeah. All right, right about here, I think, is where we're gonna ambush it. We're going to have the girl kind of blocking the road a bit. About everyone on combat mode and hold fire. And also go prone. And go over here. So why is there just a road sign in, the, in right here? Huh. Not sure if that's supposed to be there. All right, so I got three IEDs on me, but I'm only going to use one, I believe. Hopefully only one. Place it right here. All right. And where am I going to be propped up to at? Let's see if I can kind of hide behind the Ural or something. Let me take cover over here. Ah, that seems a bit too close, actually. Come on, you guys move a bit, a bit further. Alright, right over here I think will be good. Yeah, this is actually not too bad, because I can kind of see where the IED is and when to detonate it. Alright, convoy is going to be leaving... Oh, we still got about... A... Oh yeah, never mind, we got, we got very little time. Alright. Convoy's about to be leaving. We're going to ambush yet another convoy. And it's going to get loud, probably. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, welcome back, Yannick. Um, we're currently ambushing yet another armored convoy. We uh, have actually just taken a small resource base nearby after trying to rescue some refugees. So we got two resource bases on our side, two um, small towns, and... The SLA are trying to ship more armored uh, vehicles to this uh, island outpost, so we're going to set up another ambush and attempt to take it out. 
And we're gonna actually just try to salvage some of the vehicles so that we can, you know, kind of capture uh, at least some of the vehicles in the convoy. Stuff that could be kind of useful. All right, I think... Okay, this is actually not a bad spot. So I'll, I'll stick right here, look at the road, and once we spot the convoy, I'll just run back into those trees and get ready to open fire. All right, convoy should be leaving any moment now. Hmm. No progression over here. Oh. Nice, got some stuff done. Yep. We also got some uh, new weapons for our soldiers now. We have some actual AK uh, rifles, so now they're a bit more well-armed than just using your little M1 Garands. <laughs> Alright, convoy objective. Okay, looks like it's another light-armored vehicle. Most likely a Ural. So, yeah, I think we'll try to... Ooh, actually... You know what? I'm actually going to move. I'm going to move one of these IEDs on the road. We're going we're gonna to put it a bit further up ahead since it's, it's nice and open out here. So it's like perfect for uh, ambushing the convoy since they're going to be out here in the open. Move 75 meters, right. Okay, you guys move over here. All right. So let's put the IED right about here. There you go. No one suspect will suspect a thing. <laughs> All right. As a last a last ditch thing, the Euro's blocking the road so they can kind of. Halt the convoy. Alright. Now we wait. It's actually pretty close to us, so we'll probably be seeing it any moment now. Oh, there it is. Ooh, okay. Oh, is that a BTR-40? Okay, that's the vehicle we have to apparently uh, capture. Uh, okay, there's a UAZ with a Dushka in the front. We could probably take that out with just small arms fire. There's a UAZ with what looks like police in the back. I was playing. Uh, I was playing Call, the police. All right, let's let's get a bit low. I'm debating if I should blow up the IED on the uh, that Dushka car in the front. No, no. I think what I'll do is I'll blow up the the. Uh, I'll blow up that car, the uh, UAZ, meters. with the police in the back, because there's, there's a lot of guys. Alright, here they come. Alright, once we get close, or once that UAZ in the back, the, uh, the recon one, goes over the IED, we'll blow it up, engage, and hopefully we'll try to capture these vehicles. Specifically that BTR-40 with the IGLA. Alright, there's the Dushka. And you know what? Open fire. And booyah. Woo! Alright, open up. Whoa! What the heck was that? Jesus. Alright, hold on. Stop that. Stop that BTR. He's on his he's running on his rims. I'll stop, stop this freaking car. Car reload. <laughs> They're trying to desperately drive away. There we go. Still a guy in the driver's seat. Alright, now he's dead. Ooh. Uh, there's also that UAZ that's trying to get away, but... Uh, we'll probably get him. All right, I gotta go revive my guy. My person, actually. Oh, well, there goes that. That UAZ back there is toast. Figuratively and literally. All right, where am I at? Oh, I'm over here. All right, there you are. All right, well, that went pretty well. And we actually have a BTR-40 now. We actually have a very decent anti-air vehicle. Airfield is my base, too. Oh, wait. I was playing GS once. I was playing the Polish. So I was in an APC. Managed to take, take objective without pressing my squad. I was proud of that. Outside the airfield, I started hearing beeping. 
That was a missile killing everyone in my squad and the APC. Dang. GG easy. Yeah, that's for sure. Alright, um... On next stance. I heard that UAZ. Hold on, he's trying to get away, I think. Where are you? Let's we'll see if we can get that UAZ as well, since it has a Dushka on it. A little uh, Soviet 50 cal machine gun. Whoa. Oh, he's driving away. Dang it. Whoa. Oh, crap. We're taking far from that outpost. All right. Ah, I may, I may have to let that UAZ get away. Jesus. Do not want to get hit by that outpost. Got a bunch of dead uh, police over here. Wait, what is that? Oh crap! They got they got mechanized armor incoming, or they got reinforcements. That's a BRDM. Crap! Hold on. Reload. Get this thing ready. Was that 400 meters? Oh, he's pushing up. Crap! One. Hold fire. And everyone get down. Crap! They got they got reinforcements coming in. Screw you! Woo! All right, BRDM is down. Everyone, open up. All right, the Serenis are calling in reinforcements. They're definitely a bit angry. See if we can push up that BRDM. Try to use this cover. Woo. Move, 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 move. All right. Dropped him. He's gone. Whew. All right. I guess there's a spawn point for Roblox on the way to the outpost behind the bridge. Maybe they shot at you. Maybe. I, the, I guess they could have spotted us from the uh, outpost, too, because we did make a bit of a ruckus by blowing up that UAZ. Reload. Oh, getting a bit of a lag spike. Ooh, sorry for the lag. Jesus. Oh, there. Dropped him. Lost silently their soldiers. Oh, there they are. He's down. Oh, more of them. He's down. Still got a few of them. That like spike can mean something bad is about to happen. Most likely, it could be like an outpost loot. Oh, that, that, okay, that's the Jessica fling. Yeah, it could be an outpost loading in, it could be reinforcements coming our way, it could be anything. Whatever it is, it's probably not good. Alright, so apparently there's still somebody in this BRDM. So, I know quickly how to get this guy out of there. Shoot the tires out. Because the tires on the BRDM are very weak. So if I shoot this last tire, he should bail out. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's a bit stubborn. Alright, shoot the other ones. Really? Still? Huh. 
Huh. Maybe just try shooting. Ah. I'm not sure if I can penetrate that. Probably not. Oh. Sound like that hurt him. Oh, that did the trick. <laughs> not even that armor plating helped. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we we'll survive you. You're one of the lucky few that survived. All right. Very good job. Got to admit. All right. And let's see if we can just recruit you. Really all that and no. All right, I see how well where are you going? Alright. That feels a bit better. Alright. Slower guys to hold here. Let's grab the Ural. And let's see if we can try to get repairs on everything. Oh, yeah. Um, Carmelis, you repair that BRDM. That's a pretty nice thing to have, actually. Doesn't have much. Just a light machine gun on top. But, I mean, hey. We'll take what we can get. We're not, uh... We're not, we're not picky, especially at this point. Alright. Alright, he's repairing it. Cool. Alright, let's get back to the Ural. I also need to repair this BTR-40 that's over here. It's got two little Igla launchers on it. Alright, repair this. Alright. Alright, one, one thing I do like about the uh, these uh, SLA and Red, uh, Royal Army Corps mods is that they have a lot of... Jesus! Holy cow! Oh my god. Jeez, we're taking fire. Jesus. BRDM, I need help. There you are. Oh, we got him. Jesus. It's like a small marksman team trying to ambush us. Alright. Just gather for the loot. Okay. Pretty decent stuff. Another UAZ? Crap, man, they're they're calling in a lot of reinforcements. Oh, it's a patrol, never mind. <laughs> Alright, it's nothing much. Oh, I do hear a chopper in the distance. Which is a tiny bit concerning. You getting the you getting the gunner on this thing actually? Got him. Woo. Get him, boys. Really see him. There he is. All right, he's down. All right, we need to. Uh, we probably need to get out of here. We might find out why it's lagging. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, that, a lot of reinforcements are coming in, that's for sure. All right, we need to... On you. Get in the BTR. All right. We need to get ready to get out of here. Just want to hurry and loot these two guys that are down here. Oh, no, are they already looted? Oh, they're already looted. Okay. All right. Then in that case, I want to loot those uh, dead SLA guys back there on the road. Using a sound mod? It sounds amazing. Yeah. I'm using a, uh, a couple sound mods. I'm using a... Project Sound Effects Remastered, as well as the AWS uh, Weapon Sound Mods. Yeah, they completely overhaul, like, sounds for guns, uh, cannon firing, explosions, um, all sorts of stuff. I'll, again, I'll make a, a mod list pretty soon um, for the uh, for all the mods that I'm using. I'll put it in the description of the stream whenever it's, you know, yeah, like, published as an episode. But I'll, uh, I'll also put it in the um, my Discord server, so that's a bit easier to access, I suppose, for anybody in there. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Six. We got two armored vehicles now. Not very well armed or armored, however, it's something, and it'll definitely help us out in the long run. Oh, actually, there's a dead or a downed SLA guy here. A couple of them, actually. Let's get him up. All right. Igla, BRDM. Montgomery Hill. Nice name. <laughs> All right, let's get these guys up. Alright, you know what? We'll release you guys. I'm gonna be nice to y'all. Y'all can actually go home. Now, get out of here. Get out of here before I change my mind. Uh, some stuff in here. Man. Yeah, I'd say we're I'd say we're not doing too bad at all. Alright. Got this. Alright, load the crate up. And let's move those dead SLA troops that are down here. Since there's a few of them. And then we'll also try to get ourselves out of this combat zone and head back home. RPGs. Oh, All right. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, everyone. Head to the headquarters. Let's see if we somehow come back and destroy a revolution. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's probably going to be. Something stupid I'm gonna do in the future that'll probably come back to haunt me. <laughs> I don't know, could be those two guys, who knows. Well, if we come across a guy called Montgomery Hill, we're definitely gonna kill him. Also, what was that? Is that a grenade round? What are our guys doing? Okay. You... Head there. You head there. It's a grenadier. Uh, where's he at? He's fighting on our guys. There he is.
Where'd he go? There he is. Got him. Where'd his buddy go? On you. There's one more guy that's trying to pursue him. Just want to make sure that they get taken out. Man, their uniforms blend in very well with this uh, terrain, I will admit. Oh crap, Dushkas are firing. Okay, I don't know. Let's just get out of here. Let's get back to HQ before things get bad. I guess I'll take the Grenadier. The Grenadier's uh, gun over here. There he is. Uh, got the toolkit. Grab that. Okay. Um. All right. Okay. Well. Yeah, I guess I get all this precious cargo back home. Um. Put this in there. All right, we did a good job. I got some decent armored vehicles. Turn on aware mode. Good. We're doing all right. Now, those vehicles should be trying to get back to headquarters, unless they're being dumb, which is likely. Oh, I'm being dumbed. <laughs> Oops, sorry, tree. Oh, sorry, bushes. Jesus. <laughs> uh, what is this BRDM doing? Uh, been watching since 30 minutes in. Let's go. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Uh, is the Gradium moving? Alright, he's moving. Just very slowly. Uh, we've definitely made the SLA a bit mad. They're dispatching QRFs now to our, uh, to our antics, so... Definitely gotta be a bit cautious now. What is that BRDM doing? He's trying to climb a hill! All right. Whoa, those are paratroopers. All right. Uh. Okay. Two, three. I'll move there. There's an outpost over there. Let's try to avoid that by any means. You guys at least just le at least just meet me here at this resource base. Or if you're, or if you're last, but you could have sold the outpost. Yeah, that is a chance. That is a good idea. Hmm. I'll have to come. I'll have to try to come up with some sort of strategy if we're going to try to take it. The only thing I have in mind is at least getting like a marksman rifle and trying to snipe the soldiers off those 50 cals in the outpost. Or perhaps taking an RPG, get some high explosive warheads, and then just try to shoot it. How come Allied AR are brain dead while the enemy are just domes you from 800 meters away? Honestly, man, I ask that same question every day I play this game. <laughs> every single day. Uh, well, you guys move there. Alright, well, I'm just gonna use fast travel since these guys are kind of dumb, so they'll teleport with, with me. Uh,. These peaceful moments after a shootout are very frightening in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly a bit... I don't know, like... Unsettling, sorta. 
Just, yeah, like, you just murdered, like, 20 guys. I just peacefully driving down the road in a... Like, nothing even happened. <laughs> Alright. I only use fast travel just because these guys are acting weird, so... This is an exception. <laughs> we got the orchestra. Um, this is war version. That's kind of cool. Cool. So, to go over what we got. We got a... We got a BRDM-2 with a small little machine gun on top. Not too bad. And we also got a BTR-40 with two Igles, uh missile launchers. Useful for uh, taking down uh, aircraft. Not too shabby. But yeah, um... We could definitely try to uh, attack that outpost because... I mean, we do have decent manpower. We do got, um... Actually, I'm a bit injured. Hold on a minute. There you go. We do got some manpower. We do have some, uh... You know, equipment to do that. So... Yeah, we could definitely give it a shot. I mean, we still need a bit of a strategy, though, if we're gonna attack it, because... They got a lot of heavy machine guns, which will rip us apart. So... Right, let me get rid of these helmets, because I don't want our soldiers having them, and then having, you know, blue on blue, as we talked about. <laughs> Alright. I think, dude, they don't, they, those helmets barely even provide any sort of ballistic protection, so... Not really useful if we take them anyway. I mean, they offer some ballistic protection, but not a whole lot. Uh, GPS, are we joining sixes? Oh, <gasps> we got G3 magazines! Perfect! All right, that's going to be perfect for our little plan here. Okay, so... Yes, we unlocked OG-7V warheads, which... These things are high-explosive warheads. Oh, thermobaric warheads. Ooh, okay. All right, let me think about how we're going to do this. Oh, that music kicked in pretty well. All right, we got a good time. So... Armored vehicle-wise, we don't have much. We have, yeah, the BRDM, BTR-40. Actually, we get a different camo for this thing. One second. Um, let's see here, cars, BRDM-2. There we go. Just like so I can actually change the camouflage on these things. There we go. Ooh, let's do a nice olive. That looks pretty good. Uh, best Arma 3 song. Oh yeah, dude, I love every single song from the Tank DLC is just gold. Um, so yeah, let me think about how we're gonna do this. Um, BTR 40. Actually, we'll probably use this thing too. Uh. All right, just put them right there. All right, any new weapons we can use? Oh, I know. I'm going to use the uh, G3A3s. Put a sight on it. All right. Let's get some ammo. I uh, just dropped these, actually. I don't need these. All right, reload. All right. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, so, let me think here. RGO grenades. Oh, RGD grenades. Actually, let's grab those. Okay. Um, let's grab... Grab an RPG. Do you have any scopes for it? No, dang it. Okay. So, we're gonna grab just a butt-ton of these high-explosive warheads. Because these will be very good at taking out structures and large clusters of infantry, so... This is perfect. It's rising. These are some of the smallest warheads you could put on this thing, but they do a lot of explosive damage, so that was really nice. Alright, we'll take the Ural. Uh, or, nah, I'll have, I'll have infantry take the Ural. Um, hmm. I guess we'll take the BRDM. Or, uh, 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 I don't really know. <laughs> All right, so first things first, we're going to have a infantry squad in this Ural. Are 
Where are they at? Uh, oh, there they are. See, now guys actually have some AKs they can use now, so they definitely are a bit... a bit more dangerous. Alright, so, assigned vehicle. So this, these guys will drive the Ural. Okay, and can I put a loot crate on the back of this BRDM? I believe I can. Oh yeah, I can! <laughs> That's pretty neat. Cool. Alright, so... Let me see here. We're gonna put some, uh... RPG warheads in the inventory of this thing, just in case we need additional ammo. That ought to do. <laughs> and let's take a few anti-tank warheads, just in case. Um, eh, we'll take an IED as well. In case we need that. Uh, I can read the Armor 4 campaign. You play as an American who so is cleaning up on a remote island as another country is taking over, aiding the remote island, and then the island betrays you. Uh, well, I guess we'll, uh... I guess we'll, uh... I guess we'll see in the future. <laughs> Honestly, can't wait, though, for Arma, Arma 4. I, I really want to see what the, uh... The new hide rejoin the military and win... <laughs> Um, yeah, I hope that, uh, yeah, I just hope that, yeah, Arma 4 will be, be pretty good, apart from all the other, yeah, bad releases that have come out this year. Okay, so, just trying to think about exactly what we'll need. So we're gonna take a rifleman, engineer, a bunch of riflemen, actually, and let's take three medics. Just in case. These guys love these backpacks. These little RD-54 backpacks. <laughs> Alright. So, oh yeah. What I was going to do is... These... I'm going to put two soldiers in this BTR-40. And what they're going to do is they're going to be on standby in the town of Motoredo. And what they're going to do is... If there's any enemy aircraft that are approaching that outpost... They will lock on with these Igla missile launchers and hopefully shoot them down. Oh, oops, didn't mean to open up Zeus. Uh, get in the gunner. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and just send them down to Motoredo so they can be ready. Uh, move there. And off they go. Um, no, I feel like you'd be F5 fighting against both Russians and the US. I'm so happy you're back. Thank you. Uh, well, Arma formula is pretty much the same. Yeah, I guess they're kind of done with that, but... Oh, well, I guess we'll see in the future. Hopefully they kind of change it up a bit. Alright. I'm in the back. See, this thing, this thing has had a little, uh, a little PKP machine gun, which, you know... Isn't really the best for assaulting bases, but, you know... It'll work, I suppose. Alright, so squad four, head into the town of... Actually... Uh, actually, head over here. Yeah, that's a bit better. Alright. Actually, open up the shields so I can see. Alright. So we're going to drive down to that outpost and... Basically... Wait, do I have a rangefinder? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, basically what we're going to do is, uh, try to fire some high-explosive, uh, RPG rounds at that outpost in an attempt to maybe kill most of the infantry and probably even destroy some of their, um, uh, fortifications. And I think that'll probably be the last thing we do today, just because it is getting kind of late where I am, getting a bit hungry, and I'm also craving some chocolate cake. <laughs> um... And I'll be down there soon. Alright. Alright. Uh where's the hero going? Alright, they're taking the good way. We'll just head let's we'll head on here with our BTR 40 to make sure they're alright. I love the little interiors of some of the Red Hammer Studios vehicles. 
Some of them don't have interiors, like for example, like the Abrams and stuff, up, some stuff like that. But when they do have interiors, they do look pretty dang nice. Not too shabby. Whoa! Okay. <sighs> Going a bit too fast. Jesus. Oh my God. I'll control this thing. Games haven't been too good so far. The new Men of War is mid. They kind of need new voices. They've been using the same voices way too long. Are they still using the same voices from the original, like, like a Men of War Assault Squad 2? Are they still using the same voices? Huh. Yeah, game releases... Are, just sequels in general, like, recently, haven't really been too, like, good. When it comes to, like, movies, games, TV shows, like... Sequels are just, like, not really doing too good nowadays, at least from what I've seen. So, just hope that there's some sort of diamond in the rough that pops up and, I guess, takes our breath away. <laughs> okay. So. There's the outpost back there. Fast and Furious Liberation style. Alright, so everyone hold... F Actually, wait. Yeah, hold fire. Four, five, six, uh, BTR40 will stay here. Alright. So, for the outpost, there are about three heavy machine guns in that tower. There is an another tower over here with a machine gun. And a crap ton of infantry. There's a radio tower, which is a good uh, strategic target. So, what's the range on this thing? Ah, 677 meters. Our RPG can only about go on about half that distance, and we're shooting high explosive warheads, which will probably be, uh, have a lot of drop on them. So let's aim really high and hope that this hits. Oh my god, that's low. It didn't even make it across the river. Wow. Okay, I gotta arc this thing like I'm shooting a freaking mortar. Uh, about like that? See if that lands. I think I may have overshot. I think I may have overshot it. All right. Oh, yeah, I definitely overshot. I saw it just explode now. All right. How about this? Oh! <gasps> oh my God! That's a direct hit. Okay. This is good. If we could just topple down that tower... Ah, a bit short. If we could just topple down that tower, it'll be mostly smooth sailing from here on in. Ah, overshot again. I got plenty of RPG rounds, so I can do this for days. Uh, Gates of Hell Remasters and Men of Warm, it's really good. I'm considering getting uh, Gates of Hell, because I've heard it's, yeah, really, really good. Uh... Didn't keep overshooting. They don't exactly know where they're taking fire from, so that's good. Ooh, okay, that, that was actually a bit close. <laughs> Foof. They see me, apparently. Alright, come on. All right, let me grab some more ammo from our BRDM. We got a lot of, we got a lot of rocket rounds. All right, so busy for rundown what we're doing right now, for anyone that doesn't know. We're going to try to assault this enemy outpost, and I'm trying to, crap. I'm trying to shoot some RPG rounds at it to try to weaken it and take out some of their defenses. So hopefully these do well. I mean, at least if it isn't hitting the tower, hopefully it's killing some infantry. I'm actually going to move position real quick. Dang, so close. Alright, this, this is definitely a first for me in anti-stasi. The first time I've had to use an RPG to try to suppress an outpost. 
Um, then again, we haven't started the Middle East anti stasis just yet, so that'll probably happen there, too. Alright, let's hope that hits. Oh, that's a direct hit again! But it's not destroyed, so we gotta keep firing at it. Right, come on, come on. Ah, overshot. Come on. You should get some hell, it's really good, and some America DLC is coming out. Ooh, okay. I will definitely, uh, I will definitely keep it in mind. Oh, come on. Yeah! Look at that! The tower just got taken out. And so are- Oh, oh they're mad! Oh, they're mad! Okay. This is it. Alright, combat mode. We're moving. And you know what? Free to engage. Alright, the outpost tower has just been neutralized. So now is our chance to try to push up, uh, try to get some solid ground on that island. And we need to start launching a bit of an offensive on it. All right. Well, that's the first time I've had a, I've used a <laughs> use an RPG as basically a mortar against an outpost. <laughs> it's not a bad strategy. Not gonna lie. Okay. Let's keep moving. All right. We need to be careful because there is still one machine gun left. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure if that's how barriers work, but you know, oh well. <laughs> All right. Let's get everyone to disembark, besides from the gunner. All right, let's get to work. Feel free to engage. I can't see anything. All right, let's do this. Oh God, RPG. Take him out. He's down. Gotta watch that tower over there. Uh, hold on. Somebody get in the driver's seat on this thing. Where's he gonna fire from? Somewhere over there. Alright. I make sure they don't get back on those machine guns in that tower. All right, the girl's here. All right, keep pushing up. Awesome. So we got a bit of a foothold now on the island. Um, you told my BTR to push up a bit, actually. All right. Let's tell the BRDM to also push up. And we're going to move along right next to it. Alright, this actually might go pretty dang well. All we got to do is make uh, knock out this one HMG, and all we got to deal with less is the, uh, left is the infantry. Whoa, speaking of infantry! Taking a bit of fire. Alright, anybody who just tuned into the stream, welcome. We're doing our last task for the day, which is a large assault on a, uh, a uh, SLA outpost. It's kind of pretty well guarded. Uh, it's on its own island, so it's going to be a bit of a tough cookie to crack, but I think we got the tools ready to, uh, to assault this place. We got a down guy here. Ooh. Yep, there's a freaking HMG. Get down. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Jesus. All right. We got to watch that HMG. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Move left. Oh, they forgot the BTR. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Grenadiers. All right. We got to do is. We gotta knock out that machine gun, or else our troops are kind of screwed. All 
Alright, that gunner's down. So is his buddy. Whew. Alright, BRDM, push up. Alright, let's get our troops to disembark. Good pillow there. Woo! Oh boy! Alright. I'm taking far from my, from my left. Oh yeah, there he is. I'm not dying to you! <laughs> he did a freaking backflip! <laughs> Alright, you guys disembark. Alright. BRDM. Uh, push up. Never group on me. All right, let's push up with the infantry and let's let's attack this outpost. Never freaking mind! They got back on that freaking machine gun. Jesus! The moment I see something, I just get torn to pieces. Wait, not there? Oh, it's on the out. It's on that freaking tower again. Crap. All right, where's my body? Where's my body? Crap! I want those smoke. Where's that machine gun? A bunch of smoke. All right, should get myself up. All right, he's. Did he? Is he on the ground? Maybe. I don't know. Come on, guys, cover me. Oh crap, we're taking casualties already. Watch you guys get back in the, get back in the VRDM. We got a bunch of infantry to our. Oh my god, it's a whole squad! Look, freaking flanked us. Oh, there you are. Jesus! No, you get out. Get in the driver's seat. You get in the gunner. I'm a frag. Hurry, load real quick. Right, push up, boys. You know what? Screw this. Let's see if we can hit that tree right there. Dang, I missed. I'm gonna try to shoot it so that it can, uh... That might have been a mistake. Well, I don't hear no bell just yet, so we're gonna keep pushing until we get a bit of progress. Dang it. Right, I'm trying to shoot that tree so I can kill the guys next to it, but... Can't hit it, apparently. Alright. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hit it. Dang it! All right, hold on. Let me just fire around over there. Woo! That guy flanking us. Man, I still don't have any body armor. Whew! Got a lot of infantry flanking us. A lot of our, a lot of that squad that we sent in just got down. Where's that from? He's right over there. I 
Just toss a frag. I might have gotten him. Is that him? Alright, we got him. You know what? Got my aim. <laughs> Alright. We're doing okay. We are just kind of getting flanked by some SLA soldiers from the outpost. Let's go be careful. Ah, kill a traitor, dang it. Oh, are you... You're friendly. Doesn't a frag? Helen's over there. What is that? I hear a vehicle moving. And I don't like it. Oh. Oh, it's a freaking BTR. Why are you over here? Two, three. Move 300 meters. Back. Me? God, which, what Dushka is still alive? It must be on the ground or something. I see it. God! Oh. Okay, well, I saw it. He's down. All right, Beardy and push up. Woo. All right, toss some smoke. All right, let's get these soldiers up. Try to get most of them anyway. Woo. It saw you too. Yeah, well, thankfully he's dead now. Oh god! No, 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 you stay down. Jesus. No smoke? You always better cover me. He's good. Ooh. Alright. A lot of stuff down there. Woo! Oh my god! That was so freaking close! Move back! Alright, let's get the RPG. Okay, oh reload one sec. Uh, there's another one of those iglopods down there. What? Oof! I probably did something. Dushka! God, he's got back on that same freaking one again. Is it the same one? I think so. Where is it? That one's dead. See it. Oh, I saw it for a split second. I think I got him. Hello there. Okay. Ooh. All right, we need to start pushing up. We still got guys behind us? Man, they're really flanking us. Are we reloading? He's down. All 
Alright, Guardian, time to push up. Alright, let's do this. Hello there. Oh, that was a perfect RPG round! Oh, that was perfect! It knocked out all the guys on that uh, little command bunker. Soldier, 100 meters, front. Those still taking fire. Ooh, take cover. Oh, there's a lot of them. Hello there. Woo! Ah, oh, more tank DLC music. Woo! They're down, that, they're down in those buildings, I think. There they are. Bye-bye! I probably knocked him out. There's a UAC with a Dushka over here. Ooh. All right. There's still a few guys here. Oh, there you are. Oh, that was a direct impact. I feel bad for that. Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> Oh, frick, I'm hit. <sighs> hey, Medic, mind if, mind if I get some first aid real quick? Ooh! Jesus! Ah, thank you. Gee, I do need some first aid from you, so thank you. This guy like right here, apparently. There you are. Oh, there we go. Alright, hope everyone's doing alright. Um, this outpost is almost clear. I think. Okay. Alright, BRDM, push up. Alright, let's move. Got fire from inside the buildings. On you, uh, can you heal yourself real quick? Actually, treat this guy. Oh, there you are. Bye bye. Oh my god! That was also probably a direct impact. All right. All right. Let's push up. Watch these windows. Hello there. Gotcha. So happy I was suggesting this outpost, bro. <laughs> Me too. It's definitely paid off pretty big. I'm just gonna clear these buildings. Where's that dude I direct impacted, I think? Gotta crawl all these buildings. Clear. 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 Okay. There's all the BTR 40 to get inside this island. Let's bridge this one.
Clear. 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 All right. I believe all of these buildings are clear, but I just want to make sure. Oh God, here's that dude I directed. You survived? How did you survive that? Bro was hanging around. All right. Let's get you up. Man, I'm, I'm surprised you survived. I'm just gonna release you since you survived that. All right. Let's look at this again on the Dushkas. Get in that vehicle. Roger that. Seven. Gunner, get in that vehicle. Roger that. Report position. All right. Four, move five. there. Move right. Copy. BTR, Two, three, move across the bridge. Right. Uh, there should be an arsenal box around here. So let's check out what's in that. Scar H's, RBG 18's, FIM 92 Stingers, Iglas, MPAV, Saw Grips, Mine Detectors, RBG X Field Packs. Ooh, all right. We got some very good equipment in here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take some of that. Uh, let me drop this chick on chest rig. Finally, we're dropping this chest rig. There we go. Now we got, now we got a real piece of body armor. Doing this. Oh, yeah. Now I'm looking a bit... a bit better now. <laughs> Alright. Got the command area. Yeah, everyone up here is dead from that RPG round. Right, the place is ours. But we need to capture it and probably hold against the QRF. They're probably not going to be too happy that we captured one of their outposts. Let alone this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> that's completely fine. Yeah, there's two Dushkas down here. A lot of dead enemies. Okay. What are you? You're number six on... Get off this thing. Let me move this for you. Can I not move it? Guess not. All right. <laughs> I'll get to a casualty. All right. Uh, you actually get on that stinger or uh, igla system. Okay. So we got it. The outpost is ours. Now all we gotta do is just hold it against the counterattack. All right, let's go to the flagpole. Let's capture. All right, there we go. All right. Let's get set for a uh, possible counterattack. Oh, yeah, here it comes. All right. Let's get ready for anything. Actually, hold on. There's a... Where's a stinger? Or like a... Just igla or something. I don't have a stinger. Never mind, we're grabbing igla because we don't have any stinger missiles. All right. Molotov cocktails? Heck yeah! Uh, I thought the igla system's operative. I mean, yeah, I did almost get <laughs> direct impacted by an RPG round, but it seems it's okay-ish. So, I guess I'll try to get a guy on that. What's up, BTR-40? Okay. BTR-40, get inside the outpost. Alright, let me get on the tower so we can kind of uh, spot enemy reinforcements as they're coming in. I'm not gonna lie, I actually look, I actually look not too shabby. Alright. 
almost fell off. All right. Man. This place is in ruin. I'm gonna try to watch that road in case they send a land a land attack. Not seeing much. Could be an air attack then. In that case, we're very well suited for that. Oh, I don't like how the dramatic music just kicked in. I don't like how the boss music uh, just started. I love the song, but I'm not too sure if that means it's gonna be a good time for us. Fust? <laughs> well, we definitely sent some sort of QRF. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the Eagle system is actually operative. Somehow. <laughs> I feel like I hear something in the distance. I'm not sure. Contact, one thing, oh! We'll get a land vehicle. Oh, it's not, it's not coming from that out, it's coming from over here. Could be a civilian just driving. Oh, <gasps> that's an MTLB. Okay, that's a uh, that's an enemy armored personnel carrier. Doesn't seem like it's armed. It has any uh, armament though, so not too much of a threat. Oh, crap! Gunship? It's an, an MI-28 Havoc? Holy cow! Alright, Iglo away. Poof. He's still alive? Oh my god. Someone shoot that thing down, please. Come on, come on, come on. Big up! Oh, got two missiles on it! Three missiles! Oh! What the? Oh my god! Holy cow, that thing just glitched out so bad! Got a fast mover? CLB. Oh, it's just the parts of the MI-28. All right. Well, a uh, SLA gunship is down. Man, I don't know if they use freaking MI-28s. What's that MTLB doing? Oh, he's just kind of doing his own thing, I guess. Ready? Is our BRDM okay? I think so. Um, hold on, let's, let me grab this RPG real quick. Let's go see if we can just go hunt down that, uh, that EPC. Can you guys hold here? Dang, I don't know they have MI-28s in their arsenal. Now I'm actually kind of scared of them. Alright, let's hop in the BRDM, and I guess let's go hunt down that... That APC before he gets away. Might as well track him down. This is not exactly where I wanted to be, but you know, oh well. Yep, MTLB. He's like he's going through the mountains. I'm not sure why, but we'll go after him nonetheless. Oh, hello there, buddy. Oh god! The poor dude just standing there in the middle of the road. Alright. Alright, where is this thing? 
He's down in a valley, apparently. Actually, wait. Let me grab this IED. I could use that to blow him up. Oh, that's a lot of infantry! Oh my god. No, 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 no. Gotcha. Kill him, please. Oh boy. Fall back a little bit. There we go. Stay down. Whew. Oh, uh, it got scared with the MI-28 lunged into the ground. <laughs> All right. The AVC seems to be actually going away. Uh, in that case, we'll just, we'll let him be. All right. Very, very good. That was our first real counterattack. So an MI-20 Havoc and a small squad of um, mechanized infantry. But they got kind of taken care of real quick. Alright. I guess let's get some of these guys up. Yeah, we'll, we'll involve that APC since he's kind of going away from us. Unless he comes back around to us, then we'll probably hunt him down. Alright. Alright, very good job. Release you. <sighs> oh, you're a squad leader. Let me search you real quick. ABC was just saying, hell no, after you shot down the heli. You know, probably. I mean, it'd be smart if he actually bugged off if he saw that. <laughs> Uh, no Liberation Army Convoys. That down guy? Oh, he's already dead. Oh, hello there. Show you don't play. <laughs> Alright, well yeah, he's... Yeah, he's, he's off. He's off the radar. Or he's off the map, so he's definitely, uh... GTFO'd out of here. <laughs> uh, release. Alright. Now let's just head back to the base and... Yeah, you know, just deal with all the, uh, the new loot we got. Alright, uh, buddy. <laughs> Before we go there, let's go down to that, let's go to that, uh, that down to MI-28. Let's go investigate it. See if we can find the pilots. Or the remains, rather. Wrong way. Huh. Well, that's awesome, though. We actually have a pretty good stronghold for ourselves now. See it crashed almost right in the center of that uh, that town. What's it called again? Monteredo. Yeah, Monteredo. So we'll go investigate it. Yeah, see if we can try to find the pilots. There's the crash over there. Where's their ejection seat at? Uh, 
because I forgot the MI-28 has like an ejection system, so maybe they build out before the crash? I don't know. Well, their, their helicopter is definitely done, though. Huh. I don't really see their bodies anywhere. And there's the down chopper over there. Wow. Okay, well, I don't see their bodies anywhere, so... We'll just head back to the outpost. Oop. Oh, we did pretty good, uh, pretty good basis salt, not gonna lie. It turned out a lot better than I thought it'd be. Only took about a couple casualties. Uh, how many guys are here, Sid Rep? Yeah, we actually only took two casualties during that whole assault, which actually is quite surprising. Well, good thing we had those RPGs, or else we probably wouldn't be able to take this place out. Make a left here. Alright. Ah, the series may not take long. <laughs> well, I'm sure it'll probably get a bit tougher down the road, so I wouldn't keep our hopes up just yet. <laughs> BRDM, move there. Grab this truck. Uh, Loki, that we should get on this game sometime and liberate some people. <laughs> God, if you're going to commit war crimes, at least commit war crimes on the guys that we're fighting against, not the civilians. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, however, I do not hold. Uh, you're completely fine if so if a freaking civilian tries to run you over or anything. That's understandable because. That's happened to me a bunch of times, and uh, untold things have happened, <laughs> or unspeakable things have happened. All right, let's garage the BTR. All right, garrison units. Ooh, only but 16 soldiers on an outpost. Okay. I might change that setting around a little bit, because it seems a little too, uh... No, no, the guy has a point. Everyone gets war crimes committed on. Honestly, this is the first time I watch it. First time I watch from from starting out to the end. Ah. Oh god, now they're, now they're taking the guns and stuff again. No! Get away from my stuff. Go over there, at least. Don't take my guns. <laughs> Man is doing a war crime speed run. Um, dang, twenty five AK seventy fours. All right, uh, load this up. God, the music is like perfect right now. What the heck is it this way? Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, out of the way, buddy. Oh, lost an outpost. Oh yeah, they're taking the uh, the Royal Army Corps taking some of their land back in the south. Seems the offensive has be uh, has begun. All right, I definitely need to go load up that uh that arson. Where did the arsenal box go? Did it despawn? Aw, did it? God dang it. That happens for some reason. Like, if you just go, like, out of the outpost sometimes, the whole, like, ammunition box just despawns. Well, at least they got the armor and stuff out of it. 
I suppose. Better than nothing. Alright. I guess just load this up. Uh, you just wiped out probably two blitzes of infantry and the out music is the most calm crap. Well, no, for... I think it's whenever you, like, leave an outpost after you capture it, it usually just despawns like that, which kind of sucks. And there was a UAZ here with a Dushka. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'll at least respawn that, because there was a UAZ with a Dushka here, and that also despawned. So, let me just respawn that. A UAZ? Hold on. UAZ? Uh, Dushka. There you go. I'll at least respawn that, because, yeah. Is on time? Loot first, ask questions later. Agreed. Alright. Well, I guess we'll at least get what we have and get it back to base. Let's go over here. Uh, is there a hole in the fence I can go through over here? Hmm, can I squeeze through here? Come on. Just barely. <laughs> Jeez, that's like perfect for a Ural to go through. Or a Ural, my bad. Uh, well. I don't know, there's a, a bunch of dead SLA over here. Alright, so squad four. Just go ahead and go back to the outpost. Alright. Let's loot all this up real quick. God, they, they're all wearing those freaking helmets. <laughs> uh, where are you guys going? Uh, oh god, no, they're doing the freaking thing again! No! God, what are you idiots doing? Oh, that guy died. <laughs> that guy freaking died. Ah, right, you know what? That's y'all's fault. What's well, a seaport? Um, I'm gonna take some souvenirs with me. <laughs> All ready? I'm just not gonna ask any questions. <laughs> they're just, they're just stuck to the cab. The body armor would have been great. Yeah, I know. Well, at least I got some... <laughs> at least I got it for, uh... For me, yeah. Oh! <gasps> I don't even know what's going on. I'm just watching this. Um... <laughs> oh, man. Arma is such a good game. <laughs> I just, I'm glad it has little, like, fun glitches like this, because this is just... Just stupid, but it's a funny type of stupid. Alright, anyway. Um... <gasps> what the heck is going on?! <laughs> just seeing that in the corner! Oh my god. Yeah, I'm glad I at least got this body armor for me, because... Yeah, body armor's kind of hard to come across with the, uh, with these enemy forces. Alright. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's just part of the ground, okay. Still stuck on there! What the heck is going on? There's a down to my 28. Man, that's nuts. <laughs> what length will the AI go to loot that box? Technical difficulties. Yeah, whatever they want in this box, they want it bad. <laughs> Alright, we're almost back home. Just seeing it, this is such a weird graphical glitch, because it's not loading... I don't even know what's going on. 
Oh, hey, Ivan, welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, um, the stream is just about to end. Sorry, my guy. <laughs> uh, I'm about to wrap it up here in a bit since once I get back to base. I'm, uh, I'm a bit hungry for uh, dinner and probably gonna eat some chocolate cake, so... Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna hop off once we get back to base. But, uh... Pretty, uh, pretty action-packed, though. It's definitely a good way to start the, uh, start the series, I'd say. Soldier's there. Alright. Wait, did he stop? Nope, he's still glitched in there. <laughs> there's still, there's still an AK in a Springfield in the back of the truck. And an RPG. Alrighty. Yeah, sorry, Ivan. Yeah, just joined at the, joined at the wrong time. Well, at least be able to rewatch all this. I mean, it's about what three hours. I mean, we ambushed a couple. Uh, we ambushed two SLA armored convoys. Two res took res two resource bases. Got that outpost. Shot down a fairly advanced attack helicopter. Not gonna lie. Um. Yeah, not too shabby. I still don't know what this guy's doing here. He wants this loot box so bad. <laughs> Nothing beats chocolate cake at 3 a.m. You know it. <sighs> Did he stop? Oh no. Oh no, now he's in the freaking cab. Now he's in the cab of the truck. <laughs> what am I looking at? Um... <laughs> um... I, I, just, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> this guy is stuck here all the way from this outpost. <laughs> I don't even know what to think anymore. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, there, there goes the Springfield! <laughs> the freaking rifle just flew out the back of the truck. He's getting closer. <laughs> oh, man. This has been certainly an uh, interesting experience. Alright, almost there. Alright. Almost there. He has the real PTSD experience. I don't know what's going on with this, with this dude, though. I'm pretty sure he's going to probably give me nightmares, though. <laughs> I like his... What? What? I... What? I don't understand. <laughs> is he even still alive? I don't think he is. Oh, no, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> He is definitely dead. <laughs> okay. Is, this, is that a civilian helicopter? Okay, thank God. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was enemy. Alright, well, this all up. Next time you open that save, you will not have a box left. Yeah, this, this guy is just gonna, like, <laughs> he's gonna be like our, uh, I don't, even, I don't even know what he is. He's just an anomaly. Hope you enjoy your cake, man. Thanks. It's probably going to be freaking delicious. <laughs> um, all right, we'll get rid of these helmets real quick. Man, so many helmets. All right. Again, don't want, to, don't want our soldiers to use those helmets because, you know, friendly fire instances don't want to have those happen. Got a civilian helicopter flying over. Alright, let's depot this. Alright, put this in the garage. Ooh, we locked the uh, AK-74M Desert with B-13 mounts. No, it isn't. That's hostile. That's hostile. That's an MI-8. No, it's actually, it is a civilian, thankfully. It's got little civilian, uh, like, aircraft liveries, so... What the heck is this? It looks like he's... It looks like it's like, uh... Like, pretend there's like an explosion right here. 
it looks like he's just frozen in time after just exploding. <laughs> I... I just have no words. <laughs> All right. Well, I suppose... I wish we could have gotten that ammo box, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, actually, we put a nice little camouflage on the UAZ. Uh, red, olive. We'll do olive, actually. Sure. I'm gonna start praying to him. <laughs> um, green, dark green, green. I'm just doing another dark green camouflage. He's <laughs> he sees the matrix. <laughs> All right, so. On that note, uh, actually, is there a better backpack we have? Uh, okay, no, it's still these backpacks, all right. Um, oh, that's like perfect music for the end. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I suppose on that note, I'll, uh, I think I'm gonna end it right here, I suppose. Well, um... Ooh. Why do you like plus more? Oh, well, uh... I'm currently playing on the ultimate version, but I guess you were talking about, like, the the plus versus the anti sazzy the mod version. Um... I just kind of like it just because it has more, like, missions you can do, as well as, uh... I guess just some certain, like, missions and factions you can play as, as well as just a bunch of different, uh... features. Um... Yeah, anyway, uh, thank you all for tuning into the stream. Uh, it's been quite a wild ride. We got a bunch of uh, vehicles destroyed, some captured, took a few uh, military installations. Um, yeah, we did uh, We did pretty dang good, I'd, I would say. We actually got some freaking body armor, thankfully. <laughs> Alrighty, well, uh, on that note, I guess I'll, uh, I'll catch y'all later. Thank you all for tuning in, and... Uh, I guess I'll see you later. Well, uh, take care, everybody. Stay safe out there. Bye.